Hello, oh. we're just rambling around like chickens with our heads cut off. Please excuse us. Okay, and see, I may just have to remember to do that myself. I'm gonna there, go get my player's handbook. BRB. You do that. Be have, see, I do just have oh, this yeah. little thing that I can do. Oh, and I should probably yes. make it so that uh, the stream sees the dice rolls. Also, it's still labeled Valendor Session 12. Yep, I'm um, getting to that. Uh, Alex. No, not Alex. YouTube. Oh, Alex. Uh, oh, I got a Twitch. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> he just quits. He leaves forever. Whoopsie. I've been waiting for. <laughs> I don't want to. Uh. Is <laughs> one shot one or two words? Um, I think I usually put it as one word. We are now playing Death House One Shot D D Five E. Death House One Shot, probably part one. <laughs> can you guys hear the fan in the background? Um, well, I can hear a little bit. Sounding. Okay, it's like chugging. It's like chug, 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 chug. Uh oh, that no, I can't hear that. Okay. Here's some static though. I don't know who it is. Well, I guess I can figure it out if I systematically. Just trying to adjust things because this overlay is a slightly different proportion from our normal stuff. But yeah. okay. service. Okay. Yep. There we go. Now we can see our names on the stream. Yep. And I just got a text from one of my brothers about Mother's Day. I should oh, fun. quickly Ryan. deal with that so they don't think I'm a terrible son. <laughs> Didn't your character's name start with an A before? It did. Yeah. Mm. Hmm. Too many A's. Hmm. Too many A's. Not enough, enough M's. We could have been the A team or something. Oh, oh, I am actually I five, out. guys. I think it's going to be hard enough to <laughs> give everyone's name. So I try to make it we're gonna, simple. We're gonna call each other all of our Valendor names on accident. <laughs> yeah, I barely even remember what my character's name is. <laughs> Here, here's Poppy being Poppy. <gasps> King. Oh, oh, oh. I love you, Poppy. King. I love you, love you, love you, Poppy. Come here. Say hi, King. Really? Hello. Excuse me, King. Kingles, kingling, right here. Kingling, ring, 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 ring. Robert's eating, so he could care less about this side and cares more about that side. Uh, okay, so for everybody that's in Twitch right now, we were discussing earlier, or at least she will let us know earlier, that um, reviews of Death House have been overwhelmingly TPK. Um, so be ready for a bloodbath. Yeah. If you guys get there, <laughs> knowing us, mm -hmm. right, we take forever to do stuff. We are also squishy level ones, which we haven't been in a while, so. Yeah. This camera hates focusing. If, Whatever. If, if someone landed a crit on me with the damage I can do, I would just be one-shotted, so <laughs> level one is fun. <laughs> oh, uh, Cl uh, Clinwood, I... When I added that rogue level, it added sneak attack so, yeah, to the front pa page. Yeah, it's a thing over there, but I was trying to get it so that if I just click with my weapon, that it would add sneak attack there. Yeah. But I'll just have to I think, remember. Yeah, this Do one is just, yeah, just whenever it's relevant. Yeah. So, yes, uh, people in chat, you may notice. Well, actually, actually. Yeah, yeah, you might be able to see it on the... I'm trying to think which way I need to indicate, but the chat, the Roll Twenty chat, it's a different look than some of our other games. That's because Roll Twenty has implemented a new uh, sheet system to uh, implement the SRD. So that's lots of really cool things in it, but we're all still getting used to it. So yeah. and it's yeah, we'll look more like idiots than usual. So bear with us. It's nice as a DM. I hate it as a player. Like with a passion, but Poppy loves you. 
All right, I didn't do this. All right, I gotta do one thing here. Okay. I really um, hope I put all my stuff in my character sheet right. I uh, I added uh, I added a rogue level just to. Okay, never mind. It's gone now. Okay. Oh, actually, it's still showing up there. Okay, that's annoying, but that's okay. I'll just have to manually do that. It's all good. Talking to myself. I'm like Lindsaying. <laughs> Pulling a Lindsay. <laughs> all right. Are y'all ready? Let's do it. Let's do it. Roll initiative. Hold on, someone says there's zero music on Twitch. Um, there's not really music. Well, it's not music right now. It's like sound effects. Okay, so right yes. now. No sound effects, but okay, so. we'll figure that out later. I'll try and keep an eye on the chat. Yeah, Fit. I can't hardly hear any either. Uh, and my music volume is pretty high up. So just maybe check the stream to make sure that it's got its music up, because mine was default all the way down. Well, uh, there is no background sound, but... Um, I turned it off and on. Okay. For the record, um, I haven't eaten dinner yet. So I ate a pack of gummies. everyone could maybe probably watch me munch on stuff while we're doing this. Do it. Cool. You're muted. I was just telling him we could hear the fan on his mic. Jeez. Got it, I got it, gosh. All right. Um... Welcome to Death House. Uh, the introduction to Curse of Strahd. Strad. Strahd. Um, we're basically going to go through this, and then if everyone feels like continuing to Curse of Strahd, we will do so. If not, then this was a cool one shot. Um, do you guys want to introduce your characters real quick? We'll just go down the line, starting with Clenwood. Yep, super fast. Uh, I'm playing with Offstein, just old halfling who's sick of all the goblins tearing up town and the countryside, so I decided to finally do something about it. Yep. Yes. Um, I'm playing Maya, uh, who is a half elf sorcerer of the um, storm. Or Tempest origin from the uh, Unearthed Arcana of uh, Waterborn, I think it was. Uh, and that's all I know about her so far. But we're going <laughs> to figure it out together. Do you, do you want to like show the character pictures or the profile thing as we're doing this, or no? So we've got there's Glenwood. That's Glenwood Afstan. Mm. And then we had Maya. Ooh. Okay. And then I am playing Adira, who is a half elf cleric of Farlanine, a deity of knowledge, and she is on her customary pilgrimage out from the monastery where she's been all her life. And she's just gaining experience and knowledge and stuff before she goes back. Cool. And we're... It's currently eating. Starting to eat. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm playing Anwar Bratton. Um, he is a gloriously uh, looking and, uh, you know, smooth-talking son of a gun. Uh, I hope. Maybe. We'll see. Um, he started out his life as a uh, acolyte in a temple, and through his studies and category categorizing things for the temple, he uncovered um, lost knowledge of a well, who is now his patron, a great old one, and uh, he has basically taken a pact and has been leeching power away from this deity or this uh, this patron to become a more and more powerful warlock as time goes on. Um, He's probably a little bit selfish, and he um, is very much all about how awesome he is. Warning for all players in the party. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be a jerk, but I'll be a nice jerk. 
All right, and then last but not least. Me! Um, I play a paladin named Reyna. Uh, she's a half-elf. Um, she's a paladin of Obed High, which is like that um, green uh, oaky mask that you see in the PHB. Um, she... Well, so the, the Curse of Strahd uh, came with like a a haunted background option, which <laughs> I gladly took. Um, and so she has uh, a haunted uh, history with um, stuff that torments her and things. That's it. All right. <clears throat> um, so uh, um, the way we are starting Death House is um, the party has been hired by uh, Tom of Village Town, and um, he has asked the party to uh, um, scout out the nearby forest that's being overrun by goblins, and asked that they kind of take care of the situation as much as they can, and they are in their third day in the forest um, after some goblin smashing. I wasn't sure if you guys wanted to start at a certain time. The morning? Yep. Morning? Dawn of the third day. Alright. So waking up on the third morning. Oh, oh my gosh, Poppy. Get out. Go. Shoot. Alright. So. Um, let me get on the right page here. All right. So as you all kind of um, wake up in the morning, um, the first light of dawn kind of cresting over the trees, uh, the woods are really quiet this morning and the air grows really cold around you guys. Uh, the fire that you had set up the night before kind of um, is getting lower and lower, um, starting to go out in the morning light. Um, the, there's this fog that's kind of rolling in as the sun comes up. And it starts to hang really thick in the air, turning the trees around you into gray ghosts. Um, before you know it, you notice that there aren't trees surrounding you anymore. Um, you have a hard time seeing anything beyond like 10 feet ahead of you. And you guys can see each other since you're close enough and you're still within the camp. Um, but you no longer see the trees that surrounded you when you first woke up. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's see. Okay. Um, did you guys want to do anything in the fog? I suppose, I mean, just based on, I guess, the orientation of how we set up camp, we might still have a bearing on which way is back to town? It's plausible. Did we even get a chance to pack up our camp? Um, everything's so. I mean, you guys are kind of. You were kind of waking up, kind of getting your day started when this fog started to like descend upon you. Hmm. Oh, it's the first day. First of all, I have to go through my ritual, and I pull out my sensor and I fill it with some incense uh, that smells like oak and acorns. Um, and I sit and I pray and I swing the my uh, sensors slash spell focus um, and go through my morning prayers. Why is with this sensor? Well, Reyna is fine. Hmm. It's so pungent. <laughs> it must be pungent, I suppose, for the gods to hear or smell. They have to reach heaven. Does this fog seem normal to anyone? And I would like to I test guess the this fog. Is good as mine. I'd like to test the fog for normalness. How would you like to test it? I don't know. Can I roll nature, maybe? Check its pH levels. Yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah, you can roll a nature check if you'd like. All right. Let's see if I know how to do that. Boom. Wow, this new setup is interesting. Yeah, it's it's different. Um. So. <laughs> Uh, you're not glancing anything odd about it. I mean, it's definitely a really heavy fog. A little abnormal for this area. 
Um, but you know, fog sometimes rolls into weird places. Hmm. Like not clear again. There we go. Yep. All right. You guys want to do anything else? Try anything else? So we've already more or less cleared out the goblins, or do we still think there are some to hunt down? Um, there are probably still some to put down. How, um, like, closed in is the fog? Um, is it like we literally can't see more than ten feet away from us? Um, yeah. So you can kind of gather the, the like, shapes of your camp. Um, if anyone's standing close to you, you can... See them for the most part. If they get too far, um, it gets heavily obscured, and it's hard to see them. Uh, and we would like to light a torch. As uh, Reyna is uh, getting her incense smoke all over the place, mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to cast Gust and get that shit out of my face <laughs> and, and try to clear out the fog a little bit as well. Okay, so as... Um, and where lights a torch, um, n nothing, the light doesn't seem to, like, h help you see any further than you're already seeing now. Maya, as you cast gust and this gust of wind explodes out of you, um, the fog doesn't seem to be disturbed by it whatsoever. Never seen uh, and that. Anwar would like to throw his torch as far as he can in... I mean, I, I'm assuming we don't know, like, directions, but just, like, out ahead of him into the fog. All right, so as you throw the torch ahead of you, um, you kind of see the light disappear into the fog, and as it hits the ground, it hits what sounds like gravel. Was there a gravel road here before? Anyone? You're asking the wrong person. Was there a gravel road? Uh, would I remember a gravel road? Nope. You guys are in the middle of the forest. Uh, <laughs> I don't know of any gravel trees, so something fishy is going on here. So I, I, now, can I still see the light coming from the torch? Um, how how hard did you throw it? I threw it pretty hard. Like I imagine at least twenty or thirty feet, um, judging by my strength score. Maybe maybe five feet, judging by my strength score. I'm not sure. I, I threw it real hard, though. All right. Well, I mean, if you were intending to throw it far, um, as soon as it left that 10-foot diameter, it would have been lost to you. Okay. Um, Anwar's going to walk in that direction and see if he can find it. Okay. So as you start to walk, um, you feel gravel crunching under your feet. Okay, so I feel gravel crunching under my feet, and um, I'm just gonna like, like, kind of shout out like the to back to the party, like, uh, you know, keep in contact, basically, like we can hear but we can't see. Can I arcana check? Can I arcana check the fog? If you like. I would love to. Hmm. Um. I mean, the fog definitely seems unnatural um, mm -hmm. after Maya's gust and the flame and now this gravel sound. Um, but you can't quite figure out if this is magical or not. Seeing as I'm so close and, and basically one with the fog at this point, could I Arcana check the fog? <laughs> Can I call out to my great deity, the almighty powerful Quentin, or my patron? My, yeah, patron. I, I gotta stop saying deity. Quentin okay. might think he's a deity. Quentin does think he's a deity. He's the great old one. He has infinite knowledge, and he doesn't realize I exist. According to the player's handbook, that's the great old one. He is old. I figured, right. I figured Quentin was pretty... Yeah, that's true. Wrong voice. Oh! <laughs> wow, yeah. old one. No, really. fog. You think you can be better I'm, than me? I'm, I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting something. Um, 
But it's this long, rambling diatribe about <laughs> different types of fogs in different regions, and I'm, I'm really just not understanding what's going on right now, guys. So you're not able to tell us anything useful. Kids, why didn't you stay in school? All right. Ugh, crack my old man back. Uh, let's go. And I head off towards where Anwar went and just keep going. Marco. Lead the way, I suppose. I would I'm like to guessed. pack up the rest of my guessed. stuff. Ma Marco? Yes. Yes. All right, what about you, Reyna? Uh, when I finish my ritual, uh, I also pack up my stuff, uh, and I uh, head after the direction that Clenwood went. All right. Can someone grab my stuff? <laughs> So as you guys kind of pack up um, Maya throwing gusts all over the place, um, as you guys pack up and kind of start to follow in the direction that um, Anwir and Clinwood head off into, um, you guys all kind of uh, gradually meet up with each other. And as you continue to walk um, and kind of look around, uh, the fog starts to dissipate. And you can see that you are not where you started this morning. You're now on a gravel road leading into a village. Um, tall houses um, on either side of this road now that look almost like tombstones. Um, so as you guys approach, um, nestled among these dwellings are closed up shops. Even the tavern is shut tight at this point. Um, as you kind of make your way along this gravel road, you hear a soft whimpering and it kind of draws your eye towards a pair of children standing in the middle of an otherwise lifeless street. Oh, hell no. Uh, Reyna? So I couldn't hear that on with what was uh -uh. that? No. <laughs> hell no. 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 Uh, no, we're done. We're done. You know what, know. guys? Good this was a great Bye. adventure. Okay. Suck <laughs> 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 it up, boy. <laughs> we gotta get out of here. When there's creepy children in the middle of the road, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> I'll be a man, and I head towards the children. I'm probably about their height. Ah! You just head towards creepy. the children? <laughs> oh, my hey, God. Hey, there, kids. Where are your parents? What, why what are you here by do? yourself? Oh so gosh. as you approach, um, you see... Their faces fall off. Congratulations. Oh, oh goodness. Can we not? <laughs> <laughs> just scream, just so you know, I am the biggest pansy on this earth. <laughs> I may die in front of your eyes in real life. This is I be fun. Um, so after shushing the boy, the girl turns to you, Clinwood, and says, There's a monster in our house. Uh, she then points to a very tall brick row house that, seen, that has obviously seen better days. Um, its windows are dark, it has um, a gated portico on the ground floor, and the rusty gates are slightly ajar. The oh. houses on either side are abandoned, and the windows and doors are boarded up. Can I insight check them? Yeah, I was going to say, I want to insight check the crap out of those old children. <laughs> okay. Also, I mean, it's a red brick house. Does anyone have any nice uh, fire spells? We can just burn it down and win right now. Well, I think that my parents can just huff and puff and gust the house down, if I remember the story correctly. Nice, Adira. Oh, thank you. Yes. Oh, sorry. Adira, as you kind of uh, glance them over, um, the, the children seem pretty innocent to you. Uh, the little boy is standing next to um, what's obviously his sister. And he's kind of clutching a teddy bear, his lip, bottom lip quivering, tears almost in his eyes. Uh, and where they seem like normal, everyday children. We're starting off really well, guys. I rolled a two and a one. For the first <laughs> we can either only go down or up no. from here. I'm not sure. You just got to roll I'm 18 more. Up. Yeah, I just gotta, <laughs> I'll make sure y'all get a 20. <laughs> yes. All right, well. Um... What kind of a monster? Um, I, I don't know what it looks like, but we've heard it, it howling really loudly. How did it get in there? I, I don't know. Um, our parents got it trapped in the basement, though. Where are your parents? Are they... Yes. I, I think they're still inside, making sure it doesn't come out, but they, I know they really need help, and our baby brother's on the third floor. While they're doing this, since I clearly don't have a clue what's going on, can I? You said we passed some shops that were kind of boarded up. Yeah. Can I like 
peek around, see if there's anything, I don't know, that a warlock might find useful if no one of a, you know, good alignment is watching him. Like a new patron? <laughs> Jake. Um, I mean, looking around, these buildings are, like, completely abandoned. Um, damn cat. Um, they're completely abandoned. Um, the boards that have boarded up the windows or doors are even, like, dilapidated at this point. Like, they've been boarded up for a really long time. Uh, I would like to sense, uh, use a divine sense. Okay. Show me where all that evil stuff is. Okay. Um, what does divine sense do? I can show you. <laughs> okay, that'd be easy. I can show... <laughs> the evil. I'm also gonna... I'm rattling dice kind of, uh... Uh, to myself while this is going on. Okay. Which, nothing. <laughs> um, so you said there are two children in front of us, right? Yeah. Uh, and the girl is the one that's... Um, the girl's the one that's speaking to me? Yes. And what is the boy doing? Um, he's standing next to his sister, clutching his teddy bear, looking like he's about to cry. Okay, I would like to use Awakened Mind to speak telepathically to the small, frightened boy child. Okay. Um, and basically, I would like to ask him if everything's okay. Um, so as he, like, hears this, he um, uh, immediately looks uh, alarmed, um, but he just tells you that he's really scared. He's scared of what, little one? The, the monster in my house. What type of monster is this? I don't know. I've never seen it. You've never seen it? Then why are you scared of it? Because Mommy and Daddy told me to be. How long has the monster been in this house? Not that long. And then for Rena, as you uh, do this divine sense, um... You feel the presence of, what was it listed? Hold on. Um, this was in the undead. Okay. Um, so you do feel the presence of undead near you, as Stink. well as, oops. Um, yeah, you definitely feel undead around you, uh. near you. There's definitely an undead presence uh, close by. That's not even hiding. Is it the children? Gosh, it might be. I don't know if I get to know that. My dear I child, know. where is everyone else on this street? At the no, ground it's level? It's completely underground. Uh, guys, there, there's definitely an undead presence. Uh, close by. That's not even hiding. Is it the children? Gosh, it might be. I don't know if I get to know that. My dear I child, don't... where is everyone else on this street? Uh, I don't know. How do you not know? That because we usually stay in the house, but because they trapped the monster in the basement, they asked us to come outside. Where it, where are we? Well, we're we're in um Barovia. Have, have I heard, heard of this? Barovia. Barovia. My dearest DM, have I heard of this? Um you could do a history check. I would love to do a history check. That is the one thing I'm not proficient in. Uh anyone that wants to do a history check, you can. Dearest, got the mad rules tonight. <laughs> yes, well, cleric of knowledge. I suppose. Yes. yes. Natural 17. Come on, no um, history. Right. I'm not familiar um, with this place. Let's see. So, Reyna. You kind of recall hearing about this village of Brovia at some point. You can't quite put your finger on where you've heard of it, but it almost feels like you heard of it in like a long lost story or in like a fairy tale or something that like 
parents tell their kids to scare them into being good. Um, but you can't quite figure out what you remember about it or where you've been heard about it. So these kids are very misbehaved. Is that what it is? The monster is probably a grandma. Yes. Oh, jeez. I take I'm out my so... hand crossbow and I'm loading it. Uh, where is the house from our current position? I'm assuming that this... Step. Sorry. So you guys would have come in. Basically, uh, let me draw it here. Is there a train? <laughs> yeah, that's a not ghost here. Train. Um, yep, that's like, a train. The... It's a ghost train. <gasps> dun, dun. Um, you guys would have come in and basically landed over here and made your way through. So, like, Adira is so chill, but I'm having such a hard time being chill. <laughs> <laughs> Where is um, the house releasing? Really it's E7. E7. E7, okay. I think we're basically right in front of it right now, right? Yeah. It's just right. that the uh, encounter role plays in the chat, and they said that they'd be hosting us on their channel. So yeah. thank oh, you, awesome. you and oh. thanks for stopping by. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Uh, that's awesome. Okay. Uh, with that, um, so Maya, as you load your crossbow, the children kind of um, clutch each other and start trembling and crying even more than they were before. Wait, what? All right, what kids, just just stay here. We'll go and deal with it. And I pull out my rapier and head through the door. I'm right behind Clinwood. I'm going to do a quick run around the house, uh, make sure there's no other way out, and uh, I am going to go as quietly as I can. I am going to look longingly at the road behind us from whence we just came <laughs> and sigh heavily and follow the rest of them. <laughs> Yeah, I'll stealth and follow everyone. Okay. Come on. I guess I could stealth. I, or... I attempt to stealth. Let me attempt to stealth. Yeah, with my right. plus seven in stealth. Yes. Natural 18. No use. Uh, or... Clang, clang, clang. Let's go! Clang, right, let's no. kill an evil! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I'm it's dark, Clint it's so dark! Can you shift click us to wherever we're supposed to be, or is it loading? Shift click? Oh, uh, no. Here we go. I see it. I see okay. nothing. It's still loading for... I, I see it. I, I don't know if my token has sight. <laughs> Yeah. Also, I don't know if you gave the stream access to people's tokens. I didn't. <laughs> Please hold for technical Mystery. things, people. Alright. Uh, can you see a little bit now? I still can't see anything on mine or the stream. Um, okay. So... Sorry! Hey. There are like 24 people watching the stream right now. Hi, what? what? So Hi, just so friends. you guys know, that's probably the most viewers we've had, which is awesome. So thanks wow. everyone for stopping in, and we hope that you enjoy it. <laughs> oh my god, the music! <laughs> <laughs> we hope you enjoy us all dying horribly in this dark room. Yeah. Don't worry, I played a character that doesn't have dark vision in a, an adventure called Death House. So I'm <laughs> sure we're totally fine. I don't have dark vision either, but I forgot that halflings get the brave thing. I have advantage on being frightened. Ooh! Oh. It's gonna come in very handy, I think. I don't know what you mean. I know that like... <laughs> I don't know either, I'm just... I'm old, I've been around, I've seen shit. Nothing... nothing phases me anymore, man. I ain't scared of no ghost. How old is Clinwood exactly? I think he's over 150. That's wow. not that old for halfling. Yeah, like, like, like a couple of centuries. Uh, I think the thing I saw said two centuries. So. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So the stream can see. I still can't see. Nope. Yep. Stream has sight. There you go. <laughs> I know that like role playing is. I mean, it's like seventy percent of the game, really. But uh, God, that music. specifically. <laughs> no, I know. Like besides no, like the mechanics of like rolling, like actually role playing stuff out. Uh, but I always, like, Kaylee's supposed to be very charming and, like, 
good with their words and I'm not in real life and now I'm supposed to be like this really badass tough I want to kill things like not afraid of anything half elf and I'm not that way yeah I'm supposed to be like oh isn't this a fun thing to learn how oh, look oh. at how interesting and I'm like oh my god <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you guys are at the front door. Are there lights in the house? Um, there, there can be. Yes. <laughs> Hopefully. Um, no, only... Hey. Your tits. Sorry. Uh, the only... There, there, you can't see any light coming from in the house. Okay. There's um, only light going in from outside. Since it's do light. I still have my torch, I guess, is the other question? You couldn't find it in the fog. Okay, I would like to light another torch. Okay. What is that, 20 foot? It's 40 foot, and then it dim starts at 20 foot. In roll so, 20 speak. So this is the outside, and this is the door to the inside that way? Yeah. Yep. All right. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I didn't mean to do that. I meant to remove... I think I have to go over to that tab. All right, compatriots, are we going for slow and steady, or are we just going to burst in? Uh, I'm personally in favor of bursting in, but... Okay, well, know. apparently Clenwood went in already. <laughs> right behind you, Clenwood. Just, just kind of... Just kind of shake my head at a deer. Just... Uh, oh, pardon uh, me for was... wanting a plan. Maya. They do as they do. Maya, <laughs> you should check for traps everywhere all the time. And don't worry, guys, I rolled an 18 on stealth, but um, I'm also carrying a torch, so... Like, Where uh, is he? <laughs> so. Alright, so you guys uh, walk through this wrought iron gate with hinges on one side. Um, as you guys uh, come up to the front door, the foyer has a shield emblazoned with a coat of arms, uh, flanked by... Oh, that's... Do yeah. I recognize the coat of arms? Uh, no. <laughs> um, in this first room that Conwood and Reyna and Adira are in, um, you see there are uh, framed portraits of stony-faced arist aristocrats. And uh, in front of you is a mahogany-framed double door leading from the foyer to another room. Alright. I'd like to try the uh, yeah, check to see if the door is open. Um, and they are unlocked. Okay, I just... Not checking for traps anywhere, just gonna walk through. Cool. Just gonna point out that, um, <laughs> Linz has more fans of her, uh, you know, accents in the Twitch stream again. Yep. Every time. Every time. <laughs> I love you. I'm not jealous. Don't I'm tell me British jealous. people I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know how bad I am, really. Um. All right. <sighs> um, so as you walk into this uh, hallway, uh, you see this sweeping red marble staircase um, on the other side. Mounted on the wall above the fireplace is a long sword with a uh, windmill worked into the hilt. Hmm. Um, let's see. The um, room is really beautifully um, decorated. The walls are wood paneled. The panels have um, vines and flowers and nymphs and um, other mystical creatures kind of carved in. And um, um, yeah, and for whatever reason, despite the fact that all the houses around were completely dilapidated and run down. The interior of this house is really beautiful and well kept. Could I try and um, mage hand the longsword that's on the wall? Ooh, yes. Are there any okay. windows? Oh, it's over like, here, right? I'd like to mage hand. That is a uh, fireplace. That's where there. the. That's what he's looking at, right? Oh yeah. I um, want to be far away from it. <laughs> So uh, the long sword um, comes right off of the mantelpiece, and um, there nothing happens. Okay, so but the long sword does come down, or it doesn't come down. It does come down. So I'm now holding a long sword in my mage hand. Yep. 
Are there any windows? In this room, there are not. Can I look back from the hole we've come from? And can I see out the door? Have we left all the doors open? The doors, doors are open. Do I see the children outside still? <laughs> um, you can see them, like, still on the street, but they're, like, they're not looking in, they're not paying attention. Oh. Come play with us, Danny. Come play. <laughs> Um, you said that there was stuff, like, on the walls, right? Like, uh, pictures and, like, it was like a fancy wallpaper? Um, the wood paneling is carved, and it has, um... It's what? You're frozen! I'm frozen? Everyone's frozen! No. Everyone's no, frozen for me! It's, it's okay. Eh? <laughs> um, while Champs is stuck in limbo, I would like to, um... Not using... Oh, you're back, you're back, you're back, you're back. Using... <laughs> Using Mage Hand, I would like to uh, inspect the longsword more. Okay, it is... You're muted. muted. Oops, it is a very normal longsword. Uh, Reyna, the wall is... Ca- the walls are wood paneled and they're carved. And um, it has images of nymphs and flowers and vines uh, worked all over the walls. Uh, I like nature stuff. Can I look at the imagery and see if it uh, reminds me of my deity whose name I can't remember because it's the first time I ever played? Oh, um, um, yeah, that guy. You could do a perception check. Oh, bad, Perfect. Hi. That's the one. Whoa! Whoa! So, so I'm obviously not Haley rolls. I'm going to die because I've used all of my rolls right now. <laughs> I I don't know how to take that. That's pretty impressive. Um, so as you are kind of looking over this wall, uh, looking at these vines and flowers and nymphs and um, all kinds of beautiful little things carved into the wall, uh, you see a couple spots where you see a vine turn into a serpent and uh, a nymph that has a skull for a face and this like one bit of the paneling seems a lot darker than the rest of, like darker in the material that's carved in <laughs> oh dramatic yeah. god <laughs> right <laughs> not, so, not well <laughs> what am i looking at over here like what's over here uh, it's, sorry it's just like a little alcove in the um, in the hall, but it does have two doors within it. Can I inspect the scary death nymphs and snake vines further? Um, yes. So as you, um, well, how do you want to look at it? How, what do you want to do with it? Uh, I guess... Try to understand, like, uh, I'll look for words, or I'll look for, like, if, if, like, uh... Just uh, take it. Yeah. Just um, lick it. Come on. Like, any, any, uh, relief? Like, maybe it's, car- like, I don't know. It looks different, and it's creepy. Well, are you, like, touching oh. it? Yeah, so I'll, rub- it. I'll rub my hand over it and see if I get sucked into a portal of hell. Um, so as you're running your hand across the panels, um, when you are on the, um, the... Scary like, part? The, well, when you're on the nicer part, it all seems very solid. As you hit the scarier parts, the wall behind it feels hollow. I push it. All right. As you push it, it kind of gives way. What are you doing? I don't know! I don't know! Um, I don't know! It, this, there's like a, there's, it's, this is a false wall. Can I, is there... Is the monster in the false wall? Maybe. They said the monster was downstairs in the basement. We're still on the first floor. They also said they had a big sibling up on the third floor, so we have to figure out which one... Do, do we want to go for the baby oh. child first, or yeah, take sorry, care sorry. of the monster? I'm gonna listen at these doors. What if... Half of us go upstairs to get the baby, mm-hmm. and then the other half go and take care of the monster. 
I'll stay here and I'll watch the door. Is it weird that I'd rather handle the monster than the little baby? <laughs> it sounds like you have some issues. Maybe you should talk it out with some. Clothes. I think, judging how we were transported here suddenly in the morning by a fog to a place that I have no idea what it is, I think any concern is a good concern. And I'm gonna listen at these doors. All right, I will stay with you. You hear nothing. Excellent. I'm going to put the long sword on. I, I, oh, I don't have a sheath for it. I guess I'm just gonna grab it with my normal hand. This totally normal, not evil long sword. Uh, nothing happens. You just grab it. Okay. Okay. How suspicious. Does anyone need a long sword? Actually, it's taller than I am. Doesn't make actually, sense for me to use it. Actually, I do. I'm going to give the long sword to Adira. Oh, thank you. I would it's, like to sense. I would like to Arcana check it. Um, you don't need to, but okay. it, it is a completely normal okay. uh, long sword, and you can put it in your weapons as just a normal. Should I trust you? Long. Should I trust you? Is it normal? Is it? I'm not mental burnout. Who cares? Oh, okay. Things. Yeah. All right. Okay. Wow! Hey, I have a sword. Throwing DM shade over there. There's one item. Was it one? Is it? Is it though? So, Are, Reina, what is behind there? I don't know. You told me not to touch it. Uh, Maybe we don't care. Let's go upstairs or downstairs. Uh, what can those walls and doors? There's something stairs. weird there. Let, let me take a look at it. And no, I'm curious. Just There's a question for she wolf. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Um, someone said that you're doing very well as a DM. How long have you played? Oh. Um, I have been consistently playing for almost a year now. Um, I've been DMing, oh, like, nine time. months. Um, but I grew up with D&D. My dad, uh, had their D&D games at our house on the weekends that I was at my dad's house, so I got to watch, I got to listen in, I got to roll dice, I got to sub in for people when they had to miss a game. Um, I just hung out with my dad and his friends, basically, while they played D&D. The more you know. Okay. So I went up to the wall and, you know, presumably noticed where Raina pushed it and it got all weird, so I'm gonna focus on that, see if certain carvings react to either being pressed or twisted or um so the carvings don't actually do anything but this panel seems like it could be pulled off all right does one of you tall people want to take this panel it seems like it can come away uh i'm, I'm five gonna, nine i'm gonna touch the door i'm off. three foot you're near these doors oh yeah twice my height i i go i go grab the panel that seems really heavy i'll Leave it up to. It seems heavy. Else. I'll leave it up to everybody else. It seems like manual labor. Oh. <laughs> All right, and then Adira, you're touching doorknobs. Yeah. Uh, nothing happens. They both seem unlocked. Oh. Okay, so this panel is being pulled off. Yep. All right. <clears throat> Clint would be ready to kill whatever's behind here because I feel like this whole entire house wants to kill us. So as you pull open, we don't this know panel, that the house is a mimic. You. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Done. Wasn't there a movie where the house was a mimic? Like, and wasn't it called a like, movie? House. It was animated. Oh yeah, like on it. It was like an animated one, right? Where the yeah. house was like the dude's wife and like tried to eat the children. Something like that. <laughs> it was a really good movie. How have you guys not seen this? If someone has not seen the movie, I didn't watch it. I remember seeing <laughs> all the movie? trailers. Do you mean a play? Like, I was literally. Please. If someone oh. in chat knows the name of that movie, please let us know. It's called Monster it's House, guys. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm sorry I'm not as in character as you. I was I'm literally just about to watch that movie and you spoiled it for me. <laughs> the title. The I didn't know that it. the monster house was going to have a house with the monster. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. All right, so uh, Reyna um, finds a hidden staircase behind the panel. Well. That goes up. I'm going to go back to this hallway and look for the children again. They're still outside. I've literally not taken my eyes off the children the entire time. Good. Third floor, anybody? 
for the rest. Well, do you want to go up the secret staircase, or do you want to go up the normal staircase? Uh, oh, extremely out. suspect. Look, I would say secret, because if, uh, if we use a normal staircase, everyone knows about the normal staircase. Nobody suspects you find the secret staircase, right? Well, what in the world are we looking for, if not something well, known? The small baby would probably know about the secret staircase, and that's scary. I start <laughs> stealthing up the secret staircase. Yes. What in the world are we doing? I mean, what in the world are we doing? Well, last I checked, we were hunting goblins, and now... Uh, I know, there's a monster in a basement. Are out there telling us that there's small baby child inside with a monster. Yes, why would it be behind a secret panel? Where are the parents? I'm gonna cast Thaumaturgy and yell, hello. Oh, no, that's amazingly, awesomely bad. Let's yep. do it. Um, you hear the hello echo and no response comes back. <laughs> and get more evil sounding. Hello, 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 hello. 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 <laughs> Great. You're no, it, it's normal when it comes back. <laughs> Are there any lights in this place? Nope. We're going up the stairs, man. We're leaving behind. I have a why in the world? Why? Why, we why would you go? Why, why are we going to use the regular staircase? Yeah. The was... evil baby knows about the regular staircase. How do we know the baby's evil? The, chi the children were asking us to go find a monster that was known by the parents in here. How do we know that the monster in the basement is the only monster? How do we know it hasn't come out of the basement? Why is this the only house that anyone's living in in the entire dilapidated town? There's obviously a lot of questions that we all have. <laughs> I'm just saying, let's go up the secret staircase. Someone's already headed up there. Why this... are we invading this person's home? We were invited. To find a monster. You're contagious. <laughs> That's why I didn't do my accent. <laughs> let's, right. let's, I did it just uh, stick with us. Try not to be so loud next time. Just try to... Uh, 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 hush, hush. Yeah, Adira, why don't you be stealthy like me with my torch? There are supposed to be people here. I'm sorry, I'm supposed to be so serene. This is so hard for me. I've too many emotions. <laughs> so you guys are going up the stairs? Already? Yep, right behind yeah. him. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna bring up the rear, but follow upstairs. I'm so displeased. No, no, there's armor in here. Let's... This is the wrong room. <laughs> it's the uh, steps that go. Can I look? Uh, wait, oh, Maya, look for traps. Why? Why do you keep asking me that? Why do you think that I'm scared at looking for traps? Aren't you the rogue? No, it's Clinwood. Oh my god! <laughs> you so are wait, so why is he is the rogue <laughs> when he's actually a half That's a rogue. You get it wrong. But every other time he plays a halfling that's not a rogue, <laughs> I automatically assume he's the Clinwood. rogue. Clinwood! Clinwood! I know we've been traveling for a long time together, because we took this job as a party, but... Clinwood! Check for traps! Alright, uh, I she look at the floorboard to see if anything... Yep. You don't look anything alike. No, Take a look I don't at the floorboard to see yet. if any of them freak or there's something weird going on. I. Look at those suits of armor as well, but don't really focus mm -hmm. on them. All right, so as you're kind of looking around, um, there are unlit oil lamps mounted on the walls. Um, above the fireplace, again, is a mantelpiece uh, with a portrait of a family. Do we recognize the family? Or is this a different family? Um, you recognize two of the children. It has a uh, a man and a woman and the two children that you met outside. I would Are like to look at the painting and see if there's a date on it. Uh, there's no date. Um, you do see cradled in the father's arm is a swaddled baby. And uh, the mother has kind of a look of scorn on her face. And then uh, the suits of armor... Um, are a little bit rusty. Uh, they're both sets are flanking doors. Um, each one has a spear and a helm shaped like a wolf's head. And then the doors again are carved um, really beautifully with uh, dancing. Uh, looks like people in their teenage years. And. Um, 
Yeah, so it looks like they are dancing on these doors. So the, the suits of armor have the wolf heads on them? Yes, the helms are shaped like wolf heads. And you said there was unlit oil things around? Yes. I'm going to go ahead and light those with my torch. As okay. I'm going through. Are there windows? I'm going to be knocking on the door and be like, Baby! Baby! I do believe the baby would have been awoken by my shout. This is only the second floor. They said the baby was on the third floor. It should have heard me. Well, I suppose you're counting. Well, sorry, Mr. Details. Details are everything. Force this is how I got to be this old. So you guys, you guys are gonna give me a heart attack or a stroke or something. I, I don't know. Let's keep going. Noof wants to know if the dancing figures are twerking on the doors. No. Say no, please. Roll perception. <laughs> just kidding. They're not twerking. <laughs> okay, thank you. Oh, Adira just leaves. <laughs> Adira, how long do you think this woman held this expression while they painted this? I mean, <laughs> uh, she must have been upset for a very long time. Yes. I've stood for paintings. It's not very fun. It's like, you have to put a lot of effort on it. <laughs> Perhaps she does that expression a lot, and so those yes. muscles are very worked out. I suppose. It's a city folk. All right, what do you guys want to do? I want to open this door. Which one? This well, one? the one right next to you. <laughs> All right. Seems clear. Let's go. Oh, goodness. This oh, Father. After you, really and we're off. Oh, Everything's so small compared to the tokens. Uh, oh. That's the name tag from someone on the other side of the, the wall. Was that a bad thing? Um, I was very, very <laughs> concerned for half a second because I thought there was someone with a name tag in here and <laughs> a mini heart attack. Is this a piano? Oh, I can't get through the wall. Yes. It's a baby piano. I, everything in here is like they made the map too small to the grid. We're actually in a dollhouse. Mm. That's even more terrifying. <laughs> I wonder if the squares are actually 10 foot squares. I don't know. That could be a possibility. So, is there Too anything late. here? Or there's another door, I suppose. <sighs> there are also more stairs. And yes, yes. there are the doors. So, yes, we'll need to get these stairs. Are these so. windows? This is getting more interesting. Those are windows. Um, so windows! In here, let's see. There are drapes covering the windows. Um, but they are like pulled back so that you can kind of see outside. Go into a window. Um, there are upholsters, upholstered chairs lined against the wall. There's a stained glass wall hanging depicting uh, beautiful men, women, and children singing and playing instruments. Um, there's, um, you guys can obviously, there's a harp in the room. There's a, a beautiful piano. There are also alabaster figurines. Um, of well-dressed dancers adorning the mantelpiece of the fireplace. And, um... Places. Can we see the children outside? Yeah, that's what I'm looking for through the window. Mm -hmm. Yes. They're still standing in the same spot. I'd like to open the window. Do something with your lives. You cannot open the window. <laughs> Is it locked? Uh, they're nailed shut. What?! I didn't want the kids jumping out. I'm fine. I have a hammer. Can I pry the nails out? It's like you there, boy! What, what day is it? <laughs> what day is it? Christmas day, sir! Christmas day! Ah, Christmas day! I've slept through the whole night! <laughs> um, I would like to pry the nails out with a hammer. Okay. Um, they come out pretty easily. <gasps> and that one window can now be opened. I open it. That's okay. manual labor. Well, no one else brought a hammer, so... I have a hammer. Mm -hmm. uh, no one else one. bothered using a hammer, so... <laughs> oh, oh, said, why are we messing with the windows right now? We have... I don't want to be in this place any longer than we have to be. Neither do I. However... Okay, so I open up the window, and then I um, kind of like lean out and like... You know, just glance and make sure that the children are still creepily standing in the same spot. They, they like to... are creepily standing in the same spot. I'm going to speak to them. Okay. Um, excuse me, I don't think there's anyone in here. 
um, the girl kind of turns around and says, My brother's on the third floor. You guys are only on the second. If only That's someone had told us that. Um, I'm going upstairs now. And I start I'm walking up the stairs. Is this, what's this here? Is, is there anything the weird about these kids? I just yes, like check them, but I I'd don't I'd like trust to walk them. up to the harp and just kind of like strum it really loudly, just like, pring. It seems very out of tune. In the far off <laughs> distant realm, I hear a bard cringing. <laughs> All right. We're continuing on upstairs. Why? <laughs> Not that Adira cares. I care. <laughs> <laughs> the main stairs? Yep. Everyone's Unless going? the secret ones continued up. It's, oh, no, no, no. Fall and I, we are going to die. Did anyone look behind this portrait of the creepy family? Why? That's a fireplace, correct? Wasn't there something behind the fireplace downstairs? Or was that behind one of the things on the Close side? Close to the <laughs> right of the fireplace. But there are doors right to my left. Okay, I'd just like to, like, peek behind the, the portrait. Real quick as I walk by. There's a wall. Yeah, well, I tried. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so everyone's heading upstairs. I guess. Yep. Before I go, I want to leave the portrait just a little crooked, Why just enough to like. So we remember which floor that we were on. Uh, what order are you guys walking up? I'll go first. Um, Some men just want to watch the world burn. I'll be hiding behind her. Okay, so we have. Raina first. We're gonna yep. die. Then Clenwood. Yep. And then I will go second to last. Okay, so then Maya. Go very last. And Adira. What? Right. Very last is fine too. <laughs> Wait, I was very last. Oh really? Oh, I called. Good. Good. I was very last. Good. last. Onward Have is the Have you ever last. been in a haunted house? Being last is the worst. Onward just wants to be closest to the exit. All right. He plays it off like he's taking rear guard. As soon as you guys walk up, <clears throat> um, Reyna, you are immediately attacked. Yeah. <laughs> and both That's of these AC. go right for you. What? It, what? Dang does? it! They both hit. And what does? Everyone needs to roll initiative. What is happening? I what can't roll initiative. I'm immediately knocked out. Oh no. Oh well. How do you roll initiative on these sheets? Oh, there it is. You click on initiative. Oh, you salty dog. Oh, what? 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 Eleven. Wow. Yes. Low scores. <gasps> Now, do I still get sneak attack if I have an unconscious ally within five feet of them? Well, GG, guys. GG. That was good. That was fun. Yep. I told you not to come up. I told you not to come up here. <laughs> um, I think that it, sneak attack specifically says yep. that they have to be conscious to, like, That was a someone. joke. It's always the babies. <laughs> <laughs> this is a mean little one. We should have fought the monster. I feel like we're fighting the baby from Toy Story 1. Wow, what? Nadira, you are up first. From what? Toy Story. Oh, good. Claire comes first. This is great. This is so good. All right, so what am I seeing? That is good. You see Raina um, pulling on her see... ass. <laughs> <laughs> um, you can kind of glimpse over the railing uh, by the stairs that... Oh, that is loud. Um, <laughs> you see this armor uh, swinging at Raina as she goes down. Cool. I will deftly elbow my way past Maya. Oh! Deftly. So it was kind. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. Five. Well, that's difficult terrain, right? Because I'm going through a, a person. Is the music yes. still too loud? Is it too okay, loud? So 10, 15, oh, okay. 20. Okay. I turned it down a little too loud. <laughs> I'm going to be occupying the same space, I guess. I'm a small creature, that? so you should be able to just move past oh, me. Oh, you're small? Yeah. Okay. Although that might be... I think that's... You can do it, but I don't know if I can go through you. Yeah. 
Um, you can you can move through. Um, I could pick him up. No, I'm just kidding. You can move through people's space um, easily, though. Uh, cool. Mm -hmm. But this would be the end of my movement if it's ten, if it's double movement to go through somebody. Whatever. Oh, okay. I'm just gonna reach to Reyna. Do you? I'm gonna cure wounds. Cause that's what I do. How do I cast this? You name. click the title. The I name. did. I did. Are it's you in edit mode still? <laughs> Is there are modes? Well, okay. The there's, a, there's a little pencil at the top. Is it yellow? Right next to all. This is so much easier to read now. <laughs> oh, you poor girl. Thank you. Oh no. Yay. Nice. No, no, Dude. stop this, Raina. I saved you. I I'm saved almost you. back to full health. Right. I slap her on the face. Not really. I tap her shoulder nicely. Come on, Dan. She just goes cure wounds. <laughs> No. Yeah, it's like a, it's like a, a body slam. Choo! <laughs> I was very kind about it. Come on, Dan, get up. All right, is we that it for you? Day. Day. And I get back. Back. No time for a nap in the middle of battle. Hey. <laughs> All right, Raina. I'm gonna swing at it because that's a jerk. One-handed. All right. So as you swing your longsword, um, it clangs against this armor. Uh, you see kind of a dent go into the, the chest of this uh, armor that's swinging around at you. Um, for my movement, I mean, I'm not going to move. That's it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, Maya. So is that uh, in between the style spiral staircase, that goes down two floors? Yes. Or three floors, I guess, from here. Yes. All right. Then I'm going to lightning lure. I was just going to say, I had a feeling I know where this is going, because that's awesome. All right. Hmm. Is this... It's not about the lightning, guys. It's not about, about the, the lightning. Movement. <laughs> it's because I can move them up to 10 feet, and that will... What a strategic send location. Oh, I uh, knew why it was Lord. my favorite. Uh, so as this uh, lightning lashes out, uh, striking this armor... Uh, you see it kind of start to tug at this armor as it uh, kind of pulls back, uh, readying to swing at someone again. Uh, <laughs> a, a slight dent appears in the armor where the lightning struck. And anything else? Uh, no. All right. And we're... Um, I would like to uh, quickly glance down the stairs behind me to the second floor landing where there were four other suits of armor. They're all just standing there still. Okay, then I would like to know um, how far he has to move up the stairs in order to be able to see. Um, like where Maya is, well, no. If you go up one square to where Adira was, you would be able to see. About there? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm going to move only as far into the danger zone as I need to to be effective. And then do the one trick pony thing that all first level warlocks can do. And Eldritch Blast the crap out of this guy. Hopefully. Alright. Boom. Nice. nice. Uh, so this energy streaks towards the armor. Uh, you hear this like clanging noise as it clashes against it. And uh, more dents appear. Um, on its head and chest. Anything else? Uh, then I'm just going to double check that the exit is very clear. It is. All right, Clinwood. All right, I'm going to start by moving around to its other side, not mm -hmm. leaving its range. And then I'm just going to try and stab with my rapier. All right, so as you um, try does to stab it... Does that hit? No. <laughs> it doesn't hit. Uh, so as you try to stab it with the rapier, it kind of clangs off of the armor. Um, Yikes. Okay. Kind of making you jolt in a different direction. Um, not even a, a scratch appears on this armor. Okay. Um. Anything else? You know, that's because like, I have to be level two to do cutting action stuff. So oh, you can't it. do that yet. Ooh. Forgot. Oh god. Mhm. Mm mm -hmm. All right. I'm fine right now. <laughs> so this is fine. 
<laughs> Literally my entire character, but I'm failing at this. <laughs> um, so this uh, armor is going to uh, do one attack to Reyna, one to Clenwood. So the first one to Reyna, first, next one to Clenwood. Oh my god. Yep. Immediately I'm bleeding a lot. Wait, what? I can do nothing for this. I'd like to telepathically ask Maya if we should leave. Just the two of us. Just let's just go. Just <laughs> run away from the sunset together. What Aww. did I ever do to you, Onwe? Besides roll um, better. And I'll, I'll respond and say like, mm, let's give it six to twelve more seconds. <laughs> <laughs> let's see how this plays out. <laughs> Oddly specific. Yeah. All right, Adira. What? Oh, it's me again! Oh. Um, mm. I'm gonna back down the stairs, and then okay. I'm gonna throw a dart at it. Yay! Yep. Boop! Do something. Hmm. So as you throw this dart in the direction of the armor, um, it kind of whizzes by its head and sticks into the wall behind it. Beautiful! Anything else? Yep. All right, Reyna? Uh, I want to knock it down. I want to push it, knock it down, and make it go prone. Okay. How do? <laughs> With my shield. Nah! Okay. Oh, okay. Um, what this role is that? <laughs> Lie down, you possessed dog! Are you do you're doing that as an attack? Yeah. So it's just, she takes the shove action to knock it prone. Okay. Which is like, um, it's athletics versus, I think it's basically the same rules as grapple. Ah, I think nope, sorry. Is, um, whatever they want to do. Athletics. Or acrobatics. Um, or at, right. So, Reyna, no. as you slam your shield into it, uh, it clangs on the floor. Um, like a leg piece kind of goes flying in a direction um, as it falls and kind of like flails about like a turtle on its back. Take your hits, my friends! And then I take a step back, because I'm tired of it hitting me. I'm going to die again. All right. Maya? So now Do anything... that one again! These all have, uh... Advantage? Uh, yeah, advantage. Push that button again! Only melee attack. Oh, it's my turn uh, again. I'm sorry. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, I'm going to do it again. Same roll. Cool. Um... <laughs> At least you're consistent. That's fine. Um, mm. Even down on the ground, uh, this does not uh, I am appalled. move the armor at all. Uh, you're being thing, a little ting goes out of it. Hey, at least you hit it. I didn't even hit it. Um, oh, I just realized it shouldn't have taken that damage oh. earlier because that's only on a fail. Gotcha. Just, so. Okay. Anything else? Um, no, I, but I'm gonna kind of give a side eye to on where I'm like, the six more seconds. <laughs> <laughs> All right. On where? Uh, sorry. Um, so since this creature is uh, currently laid out flat on the ground, um, I'm going to. Seeing that I don't have a very clear shot, I would like to ready Eldritch Blast. If it stands up, I'd like to take a shot at it. You're muted. All right. <laughs> Clenwood. All right. Now that it's down on the ground, I'm going to stop with my rapier again. All right. And this should be at advantage. All right. Yep. So as you uh, stab it with your rapier, um, the rapier goes into the armor, uh, chunks of metal kind of flying through the air as it takes this um, piercing right into the chest. Oh. And because I have advantage on it, I get sneak attack. All right. Awesome. Um, many pieces of this armor have kind of clanged off and fallen to the floor uh, as it still kind of turtles around on its back. Terrible. Okay. Um, I'm going to stay there in my corner. All right. All right. The armor is going to stand up. And get blasted. And kind of move. Oh, yeah. 
maybe get blasted. Alright. Roll yeah. that shit. Oh, no. No. The, uh, kind of startled that the armor has gotten up, you shoot out this blast and it whizzes past and hits the wall behind it. Um, as it kind of moves, moves. Does it, does it look cool? It does not write Quentin in there. No. Alright. Fair enough. <laughs> All right, and this guy is going to. The first one is for Clenwood. Second one is for Adira. God. Well. And now it's Adira. Hey, Adira, I'm you're muted. Oh, I'm like, I'm not muted. Anyway, um, I'm going to stab it with a dagger. All right. Can I do that diagonally? That's totally cool, right? Yeah. Sweet. Do something. And uh, startled by the way that it had slammed into you, you uh, kind of slash out with your dagger and kind of flail wildly and miss the armor. I what? Fine. <laughs> Anything else? I said we shouldn't come up here. And that's all. <laughs> all right, Reyna. I yell, you can wait outside then! And I run up and I try to shove it over the balcony. All right. Like, fall down in here. Yes. Is that another athletics? Oh, you unmuted. Okay. Yes! As you uh, slam into it from behind, it tumbles over, uh, clashes on the ground, and does not get up. Boy, bye. Boy, bye. Boy, bye. Immediately use all, like, the entire, all of my points for lay on hand. Like, because I only have five, and I'm lay about to die. Yes. Hmm. Wait. Get it together, come on! All right. That was unexpected. <sighs> <sighs> Not as long as I used to be. <clears throat> and I top up a little bit of blood. Oh. Uh -oh. Are you holding up, old timer? Uh, we'll see. Can we go back downstairs so I can look in the windows and yell at the children? You can go wait outside if that's what you want and yell at the I'm mall at the you children. like. She uh, said serenely. I would like to just continue on up the stairs. I will continue up the stairs. You guys have no clue how close you were, like six seconds away. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> Literally about six seconds. What did you say was on the walls? Her forehead rolling her eyes so hard. I'm on the walls. How hard is it for you Didn't to you play this character, those? Limbs? Uh, oh, oh no, we just I haven't even. I haven't yeah, even. you got hit as soon as you came in. Okay. Um, I can't even. Did do you it. want to in the room at all, or do you want to just go straight up? Oh, well, I don't know what everybody else is doing. What? What? What are we doing? I was following everyone else. Are we gonna try this this door? I'm looking for the baby, so I don't know. Like, looking for the smell of poop, can I we, suppose. Can uh, we talk Clint about would, how? Would you check for traps over here, buddy? Could we just? Uh, yep. Uh, give me you a want second. to talk about the living statue that was like, uh, 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 yes, yes, that was. Was that um, not unexpected? And the fact that we are still here looking for a baby child, and we were not told about this. Is suspect to anyone else. Is it really unexpected? We were magically transported here by this. We were met with two kids, like creepy ass kids, out in the middle of an abandoned city who said that they only live in this house, they've never come outside, their parents are in the basement with a monster trap down there, but they left their baby upstairs. This was unexpected. This was unexpected. You know what? I was this trying, I was trying to roleplay <laughs> here, but I suppose I must suspend my disbelief. <laughs> So I would go and check with, uh, well, yeah, go and check the door, see if there's anything weird about it. I like how we were literally facing each other for that. Uh, right now, by the oh, way. this front. Oh, one. we are. <laughs> oh, this front front of you. Um, as you check the door, um, it is unlocked and nothing seems off about it. It's open, but someone else go first. <clears throat> I died last time. It's someone else's turn. I'm nearly dead here. You're welcome. Yeah. Look at all your armor. You're fine. Come on. <laughs> I'll I'll go first, and I walk I in. All right. So as you walk in, um, this uh, this room is 
pretty dusty, cobweb, cobweb, cobweb filled. Why is that so hard to say? Um, it has <sighs> burgundy drapes covering the windows. Um, furnished inside of a four poster bed is um, embroidered curtains and tattered gossamer veils with a uh, matching pair of empty wardrobes, um, a vanity, and uh, a jewelry box on the vanity, uh, as well as a padded chair. And there's a uh, tiger skin rug on the floor that seems to be kind of rotting away. And um, hi, King. Suspending disbelief. <laughs> and um, there's uh, cobwebs kind of all over the chairs and table that are in the corner and um, like an empty bowl and jug are sitting on this table. Uh, it looks all clear. Cool. All right, can we hurry on, please? Okay. I would like to go take a look at that armor that fell. Let's uh, wait, wait see if we find the baby. And was... we'll, we'll all go... Well, is there not another room up here? It's just the one? I don't know, is there? Are there any other doors? Are these doors? These are doors? There's a door there, there's a door, so many doors. There. There's a door check there. there. Check those traps. Where? Check those traps. Alright. Oh, which, which one oh, first? Right over here. Let's right. start I'll here, knock on the door and be like, baby! <laughs> on which door? Uh, the one to my left. Can I insight check Maya to see if she knows what a baby is? <laughs> baby! <laughs> just Hello, curious. I'm in here! I'm over here! Yo, bro. Yo, I'm baby, in this baby. room. <laughs> baby right here, this is my crib. Baby. Um, as you knock on the door and yell, baby, uh, you do yep. not hear it. It's anything. like, yo, baby, this is my crib. <laughs> Let's, let's let's hang on that for a bit. Yeah, I love how you just said it like. Yeah, I thought it was just gonna pass on by there. Yeah. I thought that, that was just gonna go. Why do you guys do this? No to me? one was gonna notice. <laughs> Hello, baby. Perfect. We do this because we're terrified of the death house, yeah. and humor is our defense mechanism. Also, tears. <laughs> so, uh, no baby answers. Shocking. <laughs> I tried the door. I tried the doorknob. It's unlocked. Yes. There were uh, uh, windows in the this room over here. If you want to go yell at the kids more, they're on the other side of the house than the children were. Oh, okay. Yep. Are you opening the door, Maya? Mm-hmm. Boop. As you open the door, <laughs> roll for initiative. Mother of Paladine. <laughs> what? What? Okay. We Is are going like to die. Initiative. Um, a sword flies off of the, uh, table in front of you. All of my spell slots are going to be gone. First five minutes. Mm-hmm. This is why we check for traps. And, uh, this sword slashes out at you. Oh, uh, well, we'll just go in order. Evit. Uh, Adira, this first. Again. Guys. Oh, wait, I didn't roll. Hold on. Please, 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 please. <laughs> Things could be real different right roll now. Roll shit, Actually. roll shit, roll shit. Yeah! yeah. Oh. Mm. I was all like, guys, follow my example. No. All right, the sword, um, only s being in the presence of Maya, slashes out at her. Yep. Are you good? Ouch. No. Oh, no. that's not good. Guys! That's a sorcerer. That's definitely not good. Guys! So is Maya down? <laughs> She's <Yeah>. dramatically <laughs> making uh, I just the used of... hair on the ground. All of my points! Oh, I Don't had... worry, I have one more spell slot. Alright, Adira. Alright, once again, I'm going to go to my comrade. And you, can, you can leave me down for a bit if you need. I'm gonna drag her out of the way, but not heal her. Drag, drag. Smart. I like it. Get over here. Drag, drag. Mm -hmm. Drag, drag. I, well, thank, thank you. you. <laughs> All right. Is that it? Um. <clears throat> yep. All right, Reyna. <sighs> Can I close the door? <laughs> <laughs> um. 
you have to kind of go, it, it opened inwards, so you'd have to kind of reach in, but you can. I'd like to close the door. All right. Swords <laughs> don't have thumbs, so. Exactly. I mean, we just <laughs> never go in there not- again, right? You close the door. Uh, you hear kind of banging against the door. Uh, this isn't going to last forever, guys, I don't think, maybe. You're out of initiative. <laughs> So that, was, that was a good solution. I can't believe um, that worked. I pat Maya on the face. Maya, dear. Roll to Maya. close the door. Do I have to do any death saves? Or they can, can they st- stabilize me? Uh, they'd be able to stabilize you at this point. I would like to medicine check slash stabilize Maya. I can help with that because I took wait, medicine. Wait for it. I want to know if I can. I didn't it. take medicine. I can't help with that. Oh, I did. Yeah, in the house. Right. <laughs> but I, I'm still unconscious, right? Yeah, but you're at zero hit points and you're not dying. Perfect. You're welcome. Um, thank you for not. Yeah, it was a good call. Not spinning your spell slot. Thank you. That. <laughs> that was you. That was your call. Lay on hands. A voice from the dust. Don't heal me. How are we, are we just gonna leave Maya here then? I guess. Yeah. So let's just open this door down here. No. Let's yeah, I'm gonna not... open up the other door. Which one? Oh, that one. The other other door. Um, it opens up into a, another room <laughs> that is um, again filled with cobwebs and dust. Um, there are double doors uh, with panes of stained glass um, right ahead of you, right here. Uh, the bedroom is. Um, Pretty uh, nicely decorated. Um, um, so there's a large bed, two end tables, and an empty wardrobe. And uh, mounted on the wall next to the wardrobe is a full-length mirror with a very ornate wooden frame carved to look like ivy and berries. Hmm. Um, I'm going to shout out that uh, she might be more comfortable in here if we're yeah. just going to let her rest. And then I... I'm going to start, like, searching the room, cupboards, the end tables, checking under the bed, that sort of stuff. Jim, could you grab her token for me and drag her in? Uh, yeah, I, yeah, I put her on the bed. I would like to check the bed first. The bed is just dusty. And... It's a mimic. Yeah. Fine. Yeah, so other than that, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, search everything in here. I would like to look out the windows for the mother scratching children. They're still standing outside. I would like to open the window. Uh, these ones are not nailed shut and are easily opened. I would like to open the window. And then okay. I will say to the children, Which room? It's in that room. The one I'm in? Yes, the... the, the... The nursery uh-huh. is attached to the nursemaid's room. Okay. I don't like that. Um, so there's nothing in here? It's all empty? Uh, yeah, there's nothing like Your in the Your house is very dirty. The maid quit a couple days ago. Days. 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 Yeah, I'd like to go ahead and, uh, you know, just take a second to remind everyone this is a lot more dust than a few days. Hence, Days. I would like to stare at the children whom I insight checked before, and I would like to do some other check and determine if they are even human or elven. Or they the, kind of wave at you. The, um, the chat is wondering what our purpose for dragging a lifeless party member is around instead of healing them, and I would just like to throw out that if our paladin had maybe saved at least one lay on hand point to pick someone up, this wouldn't be an issue, but they were very quick to heal themselves. I mean, you guys are welcome to take a short rest at any point. I don't think it helps me at all. That won't help anyone gain back spell points or healing. I only have one spell slot left in my fronds, and I am worried. And Maya won't actually get up um, oh. Until someone heals her. Yeah. Oh. Actually, they roll a 1d4, have to wait that many hours to get a hit point. 
And still, if you get hit at all, you just back down again. That's true. So, is there any sort of check that I can do from here at those children to determine their creep levels? No, they're very creepy. There's, <laughs> there's no doubt about that. They're, they're really creepy. I just want to know if they're even people. Have you seen one of those documentaries with the fish at the bottom of the ocean with the little light? Yes. That's yes. the children. The That's children with the light. That's what's want, going on right now. I want to know what species of anglerfish they are. Basically, they're the species that goes, Come into the house. We need your help. There's a baby in here. It's not creepy. It's totally uh, creepy. I'm trying so hard to role play. I'm trying so hard. Except for I'm failing because the characters. Okay, so if we're going to be going into the creepy room with the brother that's been here since the maid left a few days ago, I think that we should at least have all party members present. If the baby is not in full health, if it is like a zombie baby, I am just gonna shut down my computer, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I say we we open the door, but be prepared for something that's not quite right. And mm -hmm. I would like to move over this direction, and I think that we might need our sorcerer for extra I, I was just about to slap her in the face a little gently and just be like, do you want to wake up now? <laughs> hey! Healing! You want some healing? Hey, I guess I'll frickin' cure wounds her. Healing, feeling. The chat, the chat is saying that we are going to find the baby, yes. But no one has said a baby what yet. <laughs> 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 That's horrible. That's a baby weird. chicken. A baby duck. A baby baby. <laughs> this close to tears, guys. No <laughs> lie. <laughs> oh shoot! Oh well. We're doing the doggy shuffle. Sorry. <gasps> Max HP. Welcome. It's because you're my favorite. You. Thank you. Okay, <clears throat> Clinwood. You check for traps. Oh, forget the baby. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. That's what I've been saying. I don't think there's actually a baby. Clinwood, you check for traps while uh, while uh, uh, Enwir um, speaks to his not deity. Yep. All right, and I check the door, see if there's anything weird about it other than being stained glass. Um. Not I have nothing weird about negative it. Negative trust levels. All right. It's just Hello. uh. Hold on. Actually, let me double check. Uh, <laughs> oh no! Just Alex. they're just regular old stained glass. Okay, I go to open the door and you know, sort of the like SWAT thing, and it's like, I'm gonna open the door. You guys get ready. I can open the door for you. <laughs> okay. Uh, it opens out into a patio. Oh. I don't think it's like... Oh, just someone's on the stream. Uh... <laughs> oh, no! Alex. Because I was looking to make sure they'd be able to see things, and because of dynamic lighting, I could see into the room. Cool, I'm not scared. <laughs> That's fine. It's going to be fun. Okay, okay. Adira. Whew, okay. Um, we, I mean, we have to go out here, right? Do yep. we? We don't know anything. <laughs> Do you guys want to leave? Do you just want to leave the house? Is that would the baby be on the patio? I don't think it would. I don't see a baby over here, but there's another door. I'm going to do the same thing. Why in the world? Wait, what? What? Does he just love doors? Is that what's going on? So Oof. everyone knows Red Sage is in, too. He just popped in, so hi. Red Sage. Hey, Red Sage! Hello. My bro. My bro ski. <laughs> Wait, why are we so... Um, so this is a window. Um, the door is on the inside. Am I tall enough to see the oh. window? You know, my on the inside. This, chest yes. set if this is the door. Then <laughs> yes. we check this door. All right. Sorry, uh, sorry for slurping into the mic. I thought I was muted. <laughs> I didn't hear anything. So yeah, I check this door for traps. Um, it is unlocked and it does not seem to have any traps. All right. So, same thing I did with the patio doors. There are floating swords. Okay. I don't know what the. Is there anything that we could do to maybe uh, peek through the keyhole or uh, something? Can I attempt to look through a keyhole? Is there a keyhole or...? There is not. Okay. Can you look under under the door frame? Yep. I'll drop down, try and peek under the door jam. 
uh, as you peek under, you can see uh, like the legs of like the legs of furniture Why would you do that? on the ground. Oh god, that startled me a little. <laughs> um, but you don't see anything else. Do I see anything that looks like it might be a crib? Wait, like anything? Else? Um, I mean, you see legs of a furniture. It could be a crib. It could not. It's hard to tell under the door. I think the crib is in there. But... I'm gonna go to the window. I'm gonna go to the wall. <laughs> I'm out the sweat. No. <laughs> there are children present. And I'm gonna yell at the children. I don't know where your like. Where are your Where are your parents? <laughs> They're in the basement. That's down. You guys are going up. With the monster? Yes. They're probably Damn. dead. All right. Are we ready to open the store or not? Yes. All right. I open the door. All right. And as soon as you open the door, <sighs> I will need you all to roll initiative. Is every house. Death House is apt name. Is that his name? You, you wouldn't know Where that it's called. Where are you from, sir? Ma'am. <laughs> hey, I rolled oh. low. Um, Anish. Go! <laughs> oh, that's... Can we trade? You want to trade, Maya? Bad. That's so bad. Uh -huh. Clemwood, you got this, right? You've got this, Clemwood. Go, Clemwood. All right, Clemwood. All right. Uh, what in the I... mother scratch is that icon? Do I, I see that thing? thing? What? 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 So I assume I see that, correct? Yes. Um, this, what looks like a spirit, um, comes from the crib. Of course. And, um, it looks. It resembles a very terrified, skeletally thin young woman. Oh man. <laughs> Here is done. <laughs> Good thing you saved some spell slots for this. Good thing. <laughs> Don't worry, I have all those useful first level warlock spells. Don't yeah, you... good thing no one else has any healing spells, Reyna. Don't you... Does he mean what happening? Oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Oh, buddy. Clanwood. Uh, all right. Ooh. Um, I am going to. No. Frank, is that you? And then I. Uh, or no, I, I can see it's a woman, but so. Um, Frank, is that you? Yeah. Franca? Francine! But oh, then uh, it's like, no, wait, you never went to Barovia, so then I whip out a dagger, <laughs> throw it at the thing. What is that? What, that? Is that? what does that mean? <laughs> He's old. He's also he recognizes what he's saying. Muttering old man at this ghost as he throws a dagger at it. <laughs> and then I back up and attempt to well. I was level two cleric. It's like, oh, I don't recognize you, and I'll throw a dagger at you like I do to all strangers. <laughs> it's a ghost. <laughs> oh, my ghost. My friends are ghosts these days. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Poor Clinwood. <laughs> Poor Clinwood. <laughs> So yeah, as I threw the dagger, and then as I'm backing up, I will pull out my short bow. All right. So uh, as you throw this dagger, um, it does um, it, it does seem to make purchase in the body of this thing. Um, it it kind of sticks in and then kind of clatters to the ground. Um, as she kind of wails um, more out of anger than in pain. And... Clenwood, what's okay. going on? There's a ghost! There's a, a big one! A, a tornado! Mother of! All of mine! Alright. So she, um, immediately seeing Reyna is going to do Don't this. Die. Uh, because she's in sunlight, she has disadvantage. She's gonna fucking possess me. <gasps> oh! DC ten con. DC ten. AC. Oh wait, is it not a? Is it an attack? Oh. Or is it just a save? Uh, it Either way, it doesn't work. 
Either Sweet. way, it doesn't work. Good. Way to be, Reyna. Sweet. I should have read up on this. So on a hit, you make a save. Yeah. Okay, and that didn't hit, so you don't have to make a save. Gotcha. Which is good, because our first roll was a 19. On yeah. Her, so that disadvantage I, I still, still nice. would have made the save. True. True. All right. Oh, right boy. Uh, I hold my shield up. I have a shield. And I've got my hand on a javelin, but I don't take it out, and I just say, uh, ma'am, we're... Uh, we're not here to hurt the baby. Please sit down. And then that's all that I do. Ah! I am very happy with this turn of events. I'm very happy with this turn of events for now. Um, so that's all you're doing? That's all I'm doing. All right. And where? Um, and where would like to uh, follow suit. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And he would like to use Awaken Mind to speak telepathically with the creature. And uh, ask the creature, um, what is she doing here? And as he's doing this, he'd like to, like, as he's talking to her, he, I don't know, if up to the DM, but can he ready Eldritch Blast? If she goes to attack someone, he'd like to unleash it. But he's basically just, like, talking to her right now. Hey, babe! Uh, you can ready it. Um, as you uh, send this message to her mind, uh, she doesn't respond. Um, you just kind of feel this like flash of anger, and um, she kind of lets out uh, this like terrifying howl as she um, just kind of gets ready. Okay. I'm bracing to attack. All right. Adira? No. You know what would be really helpful right now? Turn undead. That'd be great, you know? Mm. That'd be pretty good. But Any of my paladin abilities would be really helpful, too. Any yeah. Spells, any of them. Yeah, you know, seeing how... Oh, I don't know that the dagger didn't work, so I'm going to throw a dart. Dart throw. Where's my button for the dart? Dart? There you are. Uh, oh, the dart wildly flies past her. Adira, like, averts her gaze. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to come up here. Yep. No. Anything else? <laughs> just wrong. go wait outside! <laughs> I want you to still be on the floor if I was waiting outside. Oh. <laughs> Alright, Maya. Um... I don't want to deal with this. He's like, and then <laughs> Hadoken. <laughs> Kamehameha. Oh, I clicked it. It didn't come up. I'll click it again. Oh, nice. oh I have to select a spell up. Oh, <laughs> All right. So as this uh, lightning orb uh, kind of flies through, it uh, hits her square in the body. Um, it kind of slows as it moves through her body, and when it comes out the other side, it smashes into the wall. Uh, you see kind of a trace of like what looks like burn marks through her. Um, but, but she's not that phased by it. This window is looking mighty friendly. <laughs> Jared just pew. My, um, I'm gonna pull a type I'm going Anything to else? scoot back. Hit the corner. All right. Kind of like. Clint. I'm gonna give Maya a look. Like, what the? <laughs> All right, Clinwood. Guys, look up dividing by zero. Uh, seeing that. Oh no! Oh no! Okay. Um, gonna shoot my short bow at it. All right. Uh, as you let your arrow fly, um. It kind of goes in the same direction as Adira's dart and kind of goes wildly into the wall. Well, that was useful. <laughs> this is going great. All right. Um, this creature kind of howls in Reyna's face. And again, with disadvantage. Um, as she goes to attack, I'd like to use my Shit. ready to action. Okay. Go ahead and roll that. And... 
You can do this. Shot it. You can do this. You can save. Oh, oh, nope. One uh, shot. The, <laughs> the blast whizzes past her, hits the wall, and explodes in this energy. Does it look cool? It looks cool. Doesn't spell anything. Good job, Raina. All right, Raina. Uh, you again. Uh, you start to feel uh, like weak as her hand tightens around your wrist, um, but you kind of resolve yourself and shake off this feeling, um, this draining feeling that comes over you. Now it's Raina's turn. Uh, so in my little position, I say, fuck it. And it's time to die, evil bitch. And I take out my sword and I start hacking, even though I have one attack, so I just hack one time. All right. So as you uh, hack at her, um, you again see the long sword hit into her, and as it goes through her body, you feel that it like slows and it resists, and as it comes out the other side, it speeds up to the speed that you had swung it down. Um, what looks like bits of um, tattered cloth kind of come off of her, um, and although she looks a bit weakened, she um, oh, yes. is still howling uh, in terror. Um, I don't move. That's all I do. Wait, uh, wait, wait, wait. So the dagger and the dart and the other thing and the other thing didn't do anything. I didn't say uh, that. Oh, okay. Well, you guys. Didn't oh, I didn't. Mo- I, the dart didn't do anything because it missed. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Cool. Never mind. All right. And where? Um, okay, and where and we're and war and Wardo is going to um, use one of his very, very precious spell slots and he is going to cast dissonant whispers at the target. Alright. And by target I mean the ghost that probably has a really high wisdom. Alright. Wiz Yeah. I was the as you uh, whisper this uh, melody and it, it enters her mind, uh, you see her kind of clutch her head and uh, scream out in pain. And she kind of uh, almost falls to her knees before she shakes it off and um, keeps on standing. Oh, Is it um, too late now it. to say sorry? <laughs> yeah. All right, oh, yeah. If she failed it, it needs to take its reaction to move away and takes the full oh. damage. Yeah, sorry, I forgot. That was the other part of Distant Whispers. So it has to move its entire movement away from me in the safest route possible. Okay. And because it's not forced movement, people do get um, opportunity. <gasps> yeah, so Reyna, you get yes! opportunity. Kill it! I'm getting good, dabber! Good catch, Clinwood. Thank you. I've... I've I'm not used to. Yes! And uh, as she backs away, um, away from this melody that's torturing her mind, Reyna slashes out one more time with this long sword, and in this poof of dust, she vanishes. Um, you're welcome. Uh, excuse wow. me? You're welcome? Uh, I used my spell slot. Chink. All one of them. <laughs> it's gone. I, have I put no my more. hand on Raina's shoulder and say, thank you. What? <laughs> what? Excuse you? Did you not just see what I did? Boy, did shut you? up. I'm Ooh, right over here. Woo! You know what, old man? If I had another spell slot, I'd hellish rebuke you. I'd punch right him in now. the kneecap. I am. <laughs> <laughs> I do that. I might die. In the kneecap. I could literally die. In the kneecap. <laughs> yes, I know that you definitely can. Die no, I'm, I'm to gonna do zero kneecap. damage with it because I have a minus one in strength, so it's just okay. like Randolph slapping Grump. <laughs> uh, I, I go into the nursery. Okay, so as you go into the nursery. Um, you see a crib, and it is covered with a hanging black shroud. I do not open it. Okay. And I walk out of the nursery. Okay. Just a, just a black shroud over a crib. We should probably leave that alone, I would say. I'm going to yell out the window 
at the children. I don't, never mind, I have nothing to say. I don't. <laughs> I just look at them. I move in and I glare the shroud. Oh my god! I, I mean mug the children so I, hard, just I'd like, like Ryan. I'd look out the window with her, and I'd like to ask the children if they're dead. <gasps> That's rude. You don't just ask some people if they're <gasps> yeah. dead. And where you can't just ask people if they're dead. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Um, so as what is Sierra... dead may never die. <laughs> <laughs> Red rum. Red rum. As Adira and and we're kind of shout out the window at the kids, their backs are turned to you and they do not respond or turn towards you. I was waiting for you to say that their head just spins around. <laughs> I just that Edward and Adira go to every window at every opportunity and yell at small children. Yeah. <laughs> just, um, get out there, <laughs> Edward, as you uh, part the shroud, you... Uh, See a baby-sized bundle lying in the crib, tightly ah! wrapped. Ah! Say something, Fenwood. <laughs> it's all right, little fella. We got you. And then no. I'm gonna tippy toes and no. pick it up. Um, as no. you pick it up, the Look. blanket kind of comes apart, and there's nothing within the blanket. I still got oh. chills. Wa ha 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 ha. Right, now go yell at- I, I, I want to stare at the children. Again. I can see Clinwood from here, and I see that he hopefully he just pulls out, like, blankets, and I look over at a deer and I say, YOU YELL AT THOSE CHILDREN! <laughs> I'm gonna- There's no baby! <laughs> Should I throw a dart at the children? I'm trying to decide. Think you're like, I'm baby. tell you no. They're probably evil. I'm just gonna lean out the window and scream, YOUR BABY BROTHER IS DEAD. <laughs> wow! <laughs> We broke him! <laughs> um, again, their backs are turned to you, and they don't uh, turn, they don't react, nothing. I throw I'd like mother to... scratch and dart. Oh, I was gonna say, I'd like to Eldritch Blast the ground next to the children. No, I'm throwing dart at them. Oh, at them? At them. Alright, Keyleth. <laughs> this was an accident, this is on purpose. Uh, this is okay, full go of go ahead and uh, roll the dart. I'm doing well, I guess it. Pike then, our cleric, <laughs> throwing darts at children from the third story. Oh. Actually, uh, technically, it should probably so, be a disadvantage because it's probably more than 20 feet away. <laughs> uh, yeah. Cool. Cool. Um, oh, okay. <laughs> so as you uh, throw this dart, it. Um, should I roll another one? Yeah, actually, roll another one with disadvantage. Well, that's right. I am determined! <laughs> Um, you, uh, throw this arrow, it sticks- which child are you aiming at? The girl. Both of them. I no. think that crit damage Six. is wrong. Yeah, I think you no. got a d20 there. Real, real wrong there. No, it's no. just plus 20 in there. Yeah. Oh, is it just a plus I don't know 20? what I'm doing with this sheet, guys! <laughs> you shouldn't have had to mess with any of it, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna so win. what you could do um, is just- I'm just gonna- I thought I was asking for my crit range. Yeah. I'm like, I crit on a 20, guys. Silly sheep. Well, but she's at disadvantage, so it doesn't matter. She takes the four either way. Yeah, yeah she takes the four. Um, so as this dart sticks into the girl, oh, um, the oh, dart oh, is, like, sticking out of her shoulder, and again, she does not turn, she does not react. Somewhere in a distant alternate universe, a young woman named Lindsay bursts into tears. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you said that this the the mirror had the berries and leaves on it. Ivy um, and berries. Yep. Yes. Can I see if the like the iconography is reminiscent of any gods? Uh, you could give me a perception check. Anwe, are you seeing what I'm seeing? Uh, you don't notice anything at all. I'm, you see vines and, or ivy and berries. As in, <laughs> am I seeing the small child that's bleeding profusely from the dart you threw at it? Yes. She is not bleeding. Oh. oh. Yeah, you I'm see seeing this creepy that. dang child standing there with no response and a dart in her neck. Uh, um, let's get out of here. I think should we? Is... I, how far away are they? Are the children from us? From the third floor down? Yeah, you're on the third floor, so you're like 30 feet. Okay, I think that's within range. I'd like to use Awakened Mind to try and um, threaten one of the children to tell me what's going on. Okay. 
I would like to pull out my holy symbol of Garlanine and just like have it on my collarbone ish area. I know there's a lot more going on and we should probably just leave the creepy children alone, no. but I don't mm -hmm. like it. Mm -hmm. I really don't. If I was really role playing this, Adira would be like out of there. <laughs> no, Adira would be fine. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's right. If I was there. Yeah. Like, oh, this is um, so as you um, ask the children to give you answers, you get no response. I don't like it. They're just lawn ornaments at this point. We should just go. Clearly there's an evil presence in this house by the fact that armor attacked us. Okay, and then a spectral lady now. attacked us. At this I'm... point, if we leave, we have to pass the children. We'll deal. I think we can deal with children. Let's burn the house I down. I do not think we can deal with children. Can we burn the house down? Well, they're not. Let's try. The dart I threw. Let's do it. Do Maybe we I just play Adira as like bipolar, as like schizophrenic. Are we She's just gonna like, like murder her with this and light the whole thing on fire? Let's just light it all on fire. Damn place nearly killed me. I don't give a fuck about it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> well, wait. Oh, what? So what about the parents and the though? The uh, baby was mean, nothing. There, are there wasn't in a basement? baby. A ghost. I just look at on where people are. And then it. I go. We need to turn this place into charcoal. Okay. I'm Before I leave this room, can I look for anything interesting? I'm gonna, I'm gonna like take a second, and I'm gonna. Adira, look. I got something interesting in this room right here. Oh, where? Right there, to your left. Nope. <laughs> 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 Huh. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna like reach out into the ethereal plane and I'm going to ask the distant realm known as chat if we should just burn this thing down. <laughs> They're saying burn it down. Saying, burn it got, down. Burn the house got, down. We got votes yeah. for burning it down. Shiny yes. wiggly tough, you are my spirit animal. <laughs> We're burning this place down. It's it gonna try to burn the house down. Yes, it's it gonna, gonna burn us down. It is full of evil. We will purify it with fire. So, how are you going to go about this? I and have a tinder box. Out of the house I have a match. <laughs> this is for the best arsonists. Mm. Let's try to get out of the house first and make sure that we can do that. Okay, so you're going to go down to the first floor? The way, yeah, the way that we okay. came, we okay. go back down. We're going to ignore the room with the sword in it? Yeah. 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 Okay, so, is everything on the top floor done? That We saw the extent of it? Besides the sword door. But the sword door was just one room, right? Maya, yes. before you were brutally murdered, did you get a good look at the inside of the room? Oh, there's a door over here. I think I saw it a broom. Do you want to see what's in the there? evil door, or that's do you want to burn the those, evil house down? That's probably the, so it goes to the same room. Door, door. It just looked like a closet. It doesn't go to the same room, because the, the room with the sword is just one long room. I don't even care. Let's just burn the place down. What are we doing? Maybe there's That's a great question. Extra what are we torches doing? in here, though. I have torches. I've been, been asking mind. the entire time. Do you want to open the door, dear? I do not want to open the door, Anwe. Getting away from the door. Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> she is so polite. She is really my favorite. I, I don't know how to deal with this. Okay. Um. You're the one who was like, I'm going to leave in six seconds. And also, yeah. he's like, let's open this door. Yeah, if you guys died, but you're all alive. We're doing all right. Can Edward mm -hmm. just peek in the door? Gonna die. Door? We have no more healing spells. Edward and and wants to crack this door open before I, we go down. I am the most useless cleric okay. right now. Okay. Uh, you darts. open the door into a bathroom. Oh. It has a wooden tub with clawed feet, a small <laughs> iron stove with a kettle resting on top, and a barrel under a spigot. I wish I found that earlier before I messed my pants. <laughs> um, oh, poor there dear. There is a uh, cistern on the roof that collects rainwater, so it kind of goes down the pipe into the spigot. I dare to turn on the faucet. I'm going to turn on the faucet. Dare me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> faucet. Ah! <laughs> Um, as you uh, turn the spigot on, nothing happens. I'll see. I thought this was gonna be like that creepy Japanese horror movie I saw. Okay, we're fine. We're good. We're good. Oh, six seconds. Up, up. Come on. <laughs> she has such a small time frame. Was there anything interesting in there? Uh, well, there is now. 
Oh, oh my gosh. Nobody moves. There we go. All right. Oh, Alright, I'm missing someone. Oh no, I'm not. What the? Oh. Alright. As we head into the first floor, what would you like to do? Out the way we came in. Can I just say this is particularly fascinating? Oh wait, nobody moved. Nobody yeah, moved. Now it's particularly fascinating. Oh, boy. I'm trying to be in character now. <laughs> uh, Raina, do you have any oil that we can use to burn this place down faster? I do. I do have oil. I've got oil. Zooms in. <laughs> <laughs> the camera. I have oil. In fact. Uh, 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 what, what are we going to light it with? How are we going to... I have a flask of oil. I have a tinder box. We can probably burn down the four-year. But let's try. If we artfully place it, I think we can do some good arson. We do have to have other flammable objects, however. This staircase looks wooden. If we had rotted wood, I think rotted wood. No, if it's moist, it wouldn't. Mother's too self about the science of setting things on fire. Alright. Is the staircase oh. wooden? Yes, it is. Is it uh, So if we, laid it, like, if we light the fire down here, it should wait, climb the wait, staircase. Wait, 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 wait. Before we light the fire, I want to make sure that these... We don't have doors that just lock themselves or anything. Or anything creepy like that. I want no, to make we, sure that we can get out. Yes, open the doors. Let's everyone get out first, and then we'll light the stairs on fire. Wait, did we take the normal stairs up? No, no, we took these stairs up. The, the secret stairs. Okay, excellent. I'm going to take the normal stairs. We're, why are you well, going up? You're on the first floor. Yeah, we're yes. on the first floor. Yes. Are we going to go anywhere else? We just, you know, setting up. I go fire to leave? open the front the door. Up, right? Your, the door's open. Okay. Plan the doors B. Doors are locked. We light the staircase from down here. I what? run upstairs, and we jump out the second story windows that we unveil. Does anyone have any rope or sheets? I, have, I, I, have I don't have a. I do. This work. The uh, lock is not on the inside. What? Who designs a door like that? I like guess you got the door off, right? Your, the door is open. Okay. Plan the B. Doors are locked. We light the staircase from down here, I what? run upstairs, and we jump out the second story windows that we unveil. Does anyone have any rope or sheets? I, have, I, I, have, I, do, have a, I, I do have a rope. I have rope. <laughs> Step up laughing at us, we're trying to escape the death house. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this is so funny. Alright, uh, so I'm going to look for another exit. Uh, I think it'd be best. Which there's means you're gonna go through the death house. Okay, but here's the thing. There's no way that there's only one door in and out of this place. There's gotta be a back door. Especially Perfect. for a house this size. But, but why do you need a back door? We have a window. I, I found a living sword in a broom closet. I'm not going to go poking around in the dark. We're also here. attacked. Okay, let's just, so let's, let's, just, just, let's just pop down here. We'll eat our rations, and then in ten or so days, the children are coming and turn us into ghosts. <laughs> well, see, let's go back upstairs where there's the patio that we can climb out on. We'll tie, someone's got to have a rope, right? I we do. Just I have rope. Up. We'll I just climb rope. down. Okay, and when you climb down and you run away and you get teleported back to the creepy-ass children, what's going to what? happen then? How did we get here in the first place? That's true. Oh what my god, you're just accepting doom. What, no, but here's the thing. What brought us here? Clearly, the only thing in the entire town that has anything going on is this house. So I'm inclined to believe that this house is what brought us here. And if we don't put a stop to that, how are we going to leave? We're just going to run into that fog again. We, we put a stop to it with fire, my friend. First of all, your argument has a few logical fallacies. First of all, we have not investigated the entire town, therefore we don't know if there are any other things going on besides this house. We simply went here first. So we could leave and then investigate other things. Okay. I'm inclined to actually agree with Unwer at this point. Uh, we have to defeat... I think that we have to defeat whatever evil is in this house in order for us to escape this town. Oh, of course. Uh. I would like to pray to Flamenine. What? 
That's all. God bless you. <laughs> I'm a nine. <laughs> I know I'm just a level one, but I'm just doing it for Flav. Flav. I'm praying to Fallen and be like, what the F should I do? So. That's all. And Fallen is like, a... <laughs> Good job pronouncing my name, child. Yes. Okay. I mean, we could either climb down the rope and try to light the house on fire from outside with one flask of oil. A brick house, by the way. Or we can try to get to the basement and uh, kick some butt. And the basement would be the best place to light a fire to destroy the house. Yeah. I would also like to point out that I am burnt out. It's also the best place um, to trap a bunch of idiots. Still? It's in the cellar. That's normally where you trap idiots. It's a cellar. That is true. I if have they want us somewhere they... in an alternate universe, a human warlock <laughs> fighter is very offended. Someone <laughs> wants us to go to the basement, and I don't think we can defeat the house without going to the basement. We have to walk into their trap, essentially. Steph's she right. won't stop! Just carry on. She's fine. <laughs> Edward's, oh Edward's just gonna open this door in front of him. <laughs> Wait, that's a door? Um, alright. Bounce, bounce. Where are we? <laughs> going to prepare Eldritch Blast and open bum, the door. Bum, bum. I feel so emotionally yeah. connected to my. What is that? Life. My, that? you've been um, waiting the four year if you're in, concerned. You see, um, I can't what, heal lips? anyone. I'm out of spells. Um, the hell. I feel like this day is going to um, end with everyone unconscious but stable. a taxidermy wolf. Except for Adira, she just sits there looking at these bodies. A taxidermy wolf? Yes. <laughs> I'm going to gently slide into the room. Oh um, my god. Okay. Um, so as you walk in, uh, nope. this is another room that is oak paneled. And uh, mounted above the fireplace is a stag's head. And on the outskirts of the room are three stuffed wolves, um, as well as two chairs that have furs kind of draped over them, and um, ow, an oak table that has a wine flask on it, or a cask of wine, two carved wooden goblets, and a pipe rack. I feel like our team name is Six Seconds, by the way. Yep. You said it, these are oak paneled again? Yes. I'm going to start looking over the walls, because in the last oak paneled room, there was a secret door. So I'm going to look for more of that. If there's carvings, uh, loose panels... Um, this uh, wood paneled room does not have carvings in the wall. They're just uh, like planks that are lined on the wall. Cool. Ooh, look, windows! I try to break the glass. As you try to break the glass, uh, what are you using? My sword. Oh, I probably should use my sword. Oh my god, I'm using my sword. Uh, the blade? Yeah, the sword. hilt. Yeah, the hilt. The hilt. So as you uh, smash the hilt against the window, you just kind of bounce off of it, and the window does not break. Oh, cool. What the fuck are you doing? We're gonna die in here. Maya, we're not okay. going to die. I sheathe my sword and I say, well, if we're gonna die, might as well make it a good one. Um, well, you almost died earlier and you didn't. What philosophy is that? <laughs> <laughs> I've lived a full life. I've made my peace with it. I know you're all the shit. <laughs> I'm I go over to Maya. Down. I pat her on the shoulder. I'm gonna die. I'll try and get you out of here, but... Uh, okay, I missed some. Did anyone investigate the wolves? No. 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 And we would like to investigate the wolves. Uh, um, go hang they out with Maya. are just plain old stuffed wolves. Do they look flammable? Um, well, they're like we're trapped. Taxidermy, so yes. It's I'm a very good saying, thing we didn't set it on fire. We need to start like finding stuff. Wait, so how are we trapped? I, I had to get a battery for my camera. Sorry. I couldn't even That's like bust open the windows. The front door is locked, and it's locked from the outside. Like it went straight thirteen ghosts on us. Yeah. I don't know oh. what that means. Okay. That's like one of my favorite scary movies. Mmm. As a kid. Put it on the list to never watch. But I yeah. think, don't I think Anwar is right, and I would like to start collecting all the furniture and moving it into the entrance. 
Have fun with Solid that. Plan. I think we need to focus on just getting out. Do we? I mean, it's very comfortable in here. Maybe the house summoned us because this okay, is our wait. house now. Like Anywhere, like make up your mind. Do we need to defeat the house or do we need to escape the house? Okay, but I'm saying, like, focusing on gathering the furniture up and putting it in one place to light a giant ass bonfire doesn't seem very conducive to no. us, like defeating the house to escape it. I don't want to light it right now. Once we defeat the house, I want to light it on fire. Okay, well, once we're all out. safe and cozy, I think that we should maybe, you know, buy some property in the neighborhood and look at, like, investing <sighs> in <laughs> the rehabilitation. But right now, guys, I really think, like, we just need to move through the house and get uh... out. Clinwood. Rearrange, rearranging furniture is not high on my priority list. Uh, do Are we taking the traps? We need We're, to go down. We, got, we have to clear this floor, get to the basement. Do the stairs only go up? Yep. Yes. Oh, excellent. All right, so we're opening doors. Just flinging all the doors. Traps, traps, I could vomit it in all traps. over you. Um, in this area, there's not a... I can't die here. Oh, I opened a closet. With thaumaturgy, apparently. Not another closet. What is in this closet? Uh, in the see. closet, you see uh, black cloaks hanging from hooks, and a top hat sits on a high shelf. Hmm. Does anyone want to touch any of these things, perhaps? No, I hmm. do not. There's another door through here. Check if the traps are in. We'll try to open it. This whole house is a trap. <laughs> Um, so the first room, Clenwood, that you went through looks to be, like, a kitchen. Uh, there's an, uh, Mother of oven. Mother oven. Oh, and, uh, really? Where are you going? Like, cabinets and stuff. Uh, really? As you open this door. Uh, Rude! It is a well-stocked pantry. And all the food appears to be fresh. Uh, no, I don't trust that at all. No. no. Yep. The tiger skin one rug was was rotted. Um, do they have any oranges? Um, there's quite a variety of fruits and vegetables. I would like to grab on I'd their like sleeve. I'd like to grab an orange. I don't want to eat it. I just if they have an orange, I just want to grab it. Okay, you can add an orange to your inventory. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, there's like a hall or something over here. Where? Here, in this dining room. What? I'd like to open this door. Okay, fine, bye. You said there was a hall here. Oh, are you already over there? I'm right here. Oh, hi, never mind. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Have I been Woo! incompetent before, except for with the dart that one time? Nobody saw that, right? Everybody saw that. <laughs> <laughs> um... Okay, so there are no other doors over here? We can't go down. <sighs> well, let's Yelled look for more secret uh, panels, because we found the stairs going up. Probably some going down. Fact. I would like uh, to take out the long sword that I got from the mantle place and kind of sift, just kind of poke the black cloaks with my sword. Um, your sword clanks against something. Pardon me, there's something in these cloaks. Does anyone want to investigate? I can take a look. Does it clank against the wall? It clanked against my sword. I back up, I back up. I'm going up the stairs. I take a look, try and figure out what it was. Alright, so um, as you kind of feel around these cloaks, you feel um, like glass vials. Uh, in two of the cloaks. Uh, take them out. Be careful. Um, so healing you potions? find <laughs> two healing potions. Yes. Um, I immediately chug one of them. <laughs> so that's two to four plus four. Guys, I found this one healing potion. Two to four plus four. Yeah. <laughs> Fair. Have we found stairs that go down? No. Mm -hmm. We're looking for secret passages right now. Uh, I'd like to check the dining room. Uh, I'd like to start with the walls. Looking for buttons or if there are any sconces. I give those a tug. Um, Try knocking on the wall and see if it sounds hollow. That, I knock on walls. 
All right, so uh, this dining room, the uh, walls are again uh, wood paneled. Um, let me have a, oh wait, let's see. So uh, the paneling is carved with images of deer among trees. Are there evil deer in trees? Um, I'll need you to give me a perception check. It's Pardon me, Glenwood. I don't think you could reach the top hat on the top uh, hat. Um, you don't notice no. anything odd about any Anybody of want to help me check this room? It's rather large. I'll make my way back in, take a look around. I'm going to poke the top hat with my sword. It sticks to your sword and falls off the shelf. Uh, Clenwood, you also do not notice anything Excellent. odd about the panel. Guys, it's a really big room. <laughs> and I'm, I'm short. Leave. Maybe Where? We go up. This is not that big of a room. Did we ever finish the uh, second story? Like, check that? I mean, no, we did we not. Go up to go down? Really? It is a possibility. All right, so Maya and Adira, as you are looking around, you both kind of... It's uh, not that big of a room, dear. You both kind of make your way and meet kind of at one panel. Uh, hey. You panel... Like Lady in the Tramp with spaghetti? Some, yeah. Um, What's the, up? This panel happens to have um, twisted faces carved into the tree trunks, huh. and there are shadows that look like wolves... Um, engraved into the foliage, uh, kind of lurking at the deer. Uh, open the panel! So that's what we did last time. Pardon me, I haven't found a panel. I found some weird wallpaper. On the panels. <sighs> Which panel? Where are we? Is it here? Is it there? Uh, oop. <gasps> Hold on. High five, Maya! Okay. <laughs> I don't. Okay, I do. Ooh. <laughs> I no. Can you picture doing this? Um, like, hey, no, the no. wall seems to be solid on the other side. Just kidding. Is it? It seems to be. Well, let's head up to the second floor. Make sure I would we like to cast. Um, can oh. I get. Whoever's still in the room, can I get a perception check? So yes, another us. one. Well, Raina left. Hey, that's if something bad like happens. It. You just shout at me. I will so, run away. I love how Raina's the only one with Ira a and background in this. And, God. Air. and Maya, you want to roll again? Who? Sure. Who? Maya. Oh. So all of you. Hey. Notice as um, you guys kind of start trickling out of this room, uh, the room when you first entered um, was like elegantly decorated. There was a chandelier hanging above the table and silverware and crystal um, and a painting above the fireplace. As you all are trickling out, the silverware tarnishes, the crystals crack, the portrait fades, and all the tapestry on the window rots away from the window. I check my orange. No orange is fine. Okay. Oh. Uh, in this, uh, like, animal slaughterhouse, uh, I just want to run around and touch things. And, like, uh, you said there was, like, a stag above the fireplace. I, like, want to pull on its antlers and see if there's any... Chat is, chat is suggesting that we check under the table in the dining room. Go ahead. No. Nah. Go ahead. Nah. I'm going to peek under the table in the dining room. There's dust bunnies. Dust bunnies. I Where's take one of the dust bunny? bunnies and I name it Spartan282 because <laughs> he helped me out there. <laughs> All right. Uh, Reyna, as you kind of... Uh, search around this room, you don't find anything that jumps out at you. Okay. Can I, I guess... cast... Oh. Go for it. I would like to cast Thaumaturgy on the panel behind the weird thing that we found. The weird stuff. Wallpaper stuff area. In the dining room? Yeah. 
Um, it's solid behind. All right. Just trying to open a door, you know, as you do with magic. All right. This well, is positively fascinating. Um, the only one we haven't uh, checked was the oh, kitchen. Yeah. Are you all right, dear? Clan would kind of check the kitchen. Oh. Did he yeah, check it what? for like? Not doors? thoroughly. Um, I mean, there was the door to the pantry. I would like to give so. Maya a hug. <laughs> Aww. Um, I want to do the same thing and start uh, uh, feeling across all the walls. Just start on one side and rotate around. As you guys are looking around, you do notice a uh, a little door in this corner back here. Whoa! That's the that's too little for me. Um, it is a dumb waiter, and it has a that's rude. button it's on the wall next to perfectly it. Perfectly smart. Uh, <laughs> push the button. Push it. Huh. Almost had an aneurysm there. <laughs> Uh, as you push the button, you hear a bell ring in the room that you're in. Uh, what? Where is the bell coming from? Um, you as you kind of look around, um, just on one of the walls is a uh, bell, just kind of attached to the wall. Can you? Okay. Get is there? In there? Do you really think that's a good idea? Can we just Absolutely send not. one person down? That's not, or up? That doesn't sound very... I'm just saying, if you can fit, is there anything else in so, there? If, I on, fit, so if there was a button, is there like a door that... Like, can we see into the dumbwaiter itself, or is it still closed? Oh, sorry, it's opened, and... Um, where am I? There I am. Um, so the dumbwaiter is a two foot wide stone shaft with a wooden elevator box attached to a rope and pulley system. Um, so it has to be operated manually. And um, let's see, um, I mean, someone could try to squeeze in if they really want uh, to. The chat is saying Adira needs to go. <laughs> They right. want you to. They want you to squeeze into the dumbwaiter, Adira, so that we can take you around the house by yourself. I'm in. No. To, to, I'm just saying. I'm currently. Anwar is currently contacting his patron deity, who is no longer Quentin. It's Chat. Mm -hmm. um, so his, his his warlock patron is now Chat, and he's being told that Adira uh, should probably go on the dumbwaiter. I haven't. I have not heard this yet. Let's try and get the dumbwaiter up, and we'll poke our heads in, see if we can get down this way. Is it squeaky? Is the dumbwaiter uh, squeaky? A little bit. So Are the, the dumbwaiter dumb goes down? No. The dumbwaiter goes up. But then, and we didn't see anywhere higher up, like in the third floor, where there was a dumbwaiter to so like one of the rooms or something? Um, you did... I don't think we did, but we also didn't check no. most of the second um, floor. Sorry, you would have seen it in the master bedroom that was upstairs that has the tiger skin rug. Okay. Hmm. I'm, I'm thinking if we've thoroughly checked this part of the floor, that maybe we need to check the second floor. I mean, so we've pulled the dumbwaiter up. I want to poke my head and see if there's a way to get down or if it just bottoms out here. That's how people get cut in half. <laughs> well, whoever's, said pulling, from experience. whoever's holding the pulley better not let go of it. Well, you don't want Anwar holding it. He's literally the least strong person here. No, okay, I'm have they found sure anything I'm yet? as weak, if not weaker. But anyway. Anwar, have they found anything? Darling. Are you Anwar? still praying? What's that? Anwar, you. Have they found anything yet? Have who found any what yet? Are the companions on where? Uh, I wasn't paying attention. I was listening. To I am so surprised. <laughs> <laughs> Chat is talking to me. I have a dust bunny familiar named Spartan. 
<laughs> Maya, would you like to investigate with me? Let's go find out what, they, what they're doing. <laughs> I'm scared to death. Sorry, not the right I'm scared. What? Well, we're not going to find the way out in this corner, dear. Would like to come on with me? We'll find out what they're doing over there. Okay. Zoop! Zoop. Zoop. I have no idea where they are. I just went through the whole dining room. Where are they? Okay. Just so chat knows, you guys are a great old one patron for a warlock. Um, all Eldritch and Cthulhu and stuff like that. Take Cat that how you will. There. Chat's going crazy. There's like 30 people yeah. watching us right now, you guys. It's, it's out of control. It's intense. People are talking. They're shouting suggestions. <laughs> I really highly recommend. I'm half playing the game and half just watching chat go insane. It's awesome. Chat, keep it up. Save us. They, they constantly go back from loving Adira and wanting her to jump in a dumbwaiter and go down to the basement. <laughs> it does really, go down. It only goes up. And they're really so finicky. there is no way down. It's the dumbwaiter shaft bottoms out here. That's what we've discovered. Yes. See okay. anywhere where the dumbwaiter would have come out when we were upstairs? The master bedroom that the tiger skin rug is in. All right. Well, unless we want to go over every nook and cranny of this floor with a fine tooth comb. I think we need to head up to the second floor. My, it's just a kitchen. We're fine. There's lots of knives in here. Yes, but Maya. they're not flying at us like they were upstairs. Maya, if what? we work as a team, and if we stay together, we will keep each other safe. I'm out of spells, though. I wasn't talking to you. I'm just saying. <laughs> you all have to keep us safe. We will keep oh, each other safe. Dear. Yeah, that was very helpful, Adira. Rubs that was very head, helpful. rubs shoulders. Um, I, I suggest we go to the bedroom. Uh, I will oil the, the squeaky wheel down here. Hopefully it helps with future squeaky wheels. And we're able to sneakily take Clinwood to the next floor to help us find out how we get there. How we get to so, the second floor? Third. <laughs> I mean, uh, oh, we need to go down. Frick. Yeah, we need Never to go mind. down. That's what I'm saying. Like the only so if we've searched this whole first floor yeah, here, yeah. we probably need to search the second floor to see if there's something. Like, um, and if it's yeah. in the sword room on the third floor, I'm gonna be pissed. Just say. So to the second floor. Yes. What? I mean, is, are we good on? Is there anything else that we haven't seen down here? What? No. So we we basically investigated this whole whole first floor pretty thoroughly to the point where I now have a dust bunny and an orange. Yes. And I'm about to get a pet wolf. Oh, it, you know what, Tom? There longer. was a top hat in the closet over there that I think would look fetching on you. I grabbed the top hat. All right. I put the top hat on. To the second Do floor? Not. How hat. many spiders are in the top hat? <laughs> one. His the name one. is Earl. Okay. Earl. <laughs> Okay, first one in chat to say they want to be spider. That that's what the spider's name is. <laughs> yep. Stares at chat. Yeah, I'm like I'm staring. Second floor. I'm emotionally invested. Wait, are we going back up the yes. stairs? We, uh, the normal stairs? No. Normal stairs are for losers. All right, I kept my arm around Maya if necessary. We like, Let's haven't go. checked either of these doors. What doors? Oh, is this where we thought that? Wait, is this where we fought the armor? No, that's third floor. What? Third floor? Was it? Yes. What is this? Have we been here? Did we yes. just keep going up the stairs last time? Yes. Yep, we haven't been Excellent. in here yet. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> it looks like the spider's name is Helsing. That's the first one to type spider, Spidey. Um, oh, okay. Or kills the spider, I guess would also count. But I don't want you to kill the spider, you have to become the spider. Um, Be the spider. What's this So I'm gonna go with Helsing. Spider named Helsing lives in my top hat. All right. Helsing and Spartan. These are pretty, pretty hardcore names. Yeah. So the room that Reyna is in is a library. Uh, red velvet Ooh. drapes cover the windows of this room. Uh, there is a mahogany desk and a matching high back chair um, that face the entrance in the fireplace, above which hangs a framed picture of a window <gasps> perched atop a rocky crag. Bobby. Situated in corners of the room are two overstuffed chairs, four to ceiling bookshelves line the south wall. A rolling wooden ladder allows one to more easily reach the high shelves. Can I open the drapes first of all? 
Um, as you open them, there are windows. There is no way to open them. No, no, no I don't want to open the windows. I just want to let light in just in case another ghost appears. I want to give it all the disadvantage. Um, all the disadvantage. And then I immediately start, like, I don't that have a book. It's like, incredibly smart. Pulling yep. every single book to be like, okay, there's a way through here somewhere. I know it, because that's what are libraries are for. just tugging them and putting them back? I, like, tug them. I, like, Good. and then I put them back. I'm not taking them all out, but just... Good. We would have had words. <laughs> um, as you kind of pull out books, um, pages kind of start to fall out of a couple of them. Just, like, loose papers. Some of them look like they've been torn out. Um, they just kind of flutter to the floor. I'm okay with that. <sighs> okay I with it. pull every book and nothing happens. I'm gonna start gathering up nothing the pieces happens. of paper, see if there's any connection between them. Frick, nothing happens. Alright, um, can you give me a investigation? Yep, because I'm an expert at that. Nice. All right. So as you kind of look through, uh, a lot of them look to be um, like stories and uh, excerpts from um, a uh, journal, maybe. And uh, one of the pages seems really off compared to the other ones. It has a completely different uh, handwriting than the rest of the pages and uh, looks to be like from a journal of some sort. Okay, I want to start reading it. Um, so as you uh, read it, the language um, kind of shifts and changes, and it's really hard for you to make out the words. Hi! Hi! Uh, What's going I, on in there? I, I can't make sense of this. Oh, well. the, the words are moving. I swear it's not my eyes. My eyesight isn't that bad, but maybe one of you youngins can take a look at this. I'll take a shot. Are you seriously, like, right here, or are you in here? I mean, no. I would have been in the library with her. All right. Maya, would you like to come along, dear? Well, if there's magic involved, I should probably go. Oh, yes, of course we need your expertise. All right, uh, right so... Um, I would good. like to look at the sheet. Um, so, Adira, as you look at the sheet, again, the words um, kind of jumble and swirl, and it's hard for you to make out what it says. Woo! I like to look at the sheet, too. But I want to keep oh. it. I will uh, hold it out so you can see it, but I want it. Uh, and where are you going to, like, how are you going to, like, touch it, or just read it from where, or try to read it I'd from? I'd like to touch it. Um, so as you kind of grab this paper holding it to look at the words. The paper flies from Adira's hands and um, into Anwar's bag. Uh, I'm not good enough for this house. What, the what did you fine. say was over the fireplace? Um, the, over the fireplace is a framed picture of a windmill perched up atop a rocky crag. I'm, I'm starting to see confused. a theme. There are lots of windmills in this house. Uh, so I'd like to look behind it, because Andrew did that somewhere else. Um, I right. looked behind the portrait. Is that portrait on this floor? <gasps> no, it was on the first floor. Uh, in the master bedroom upstairs. Oh, it was in, on the uh, I thought the portrait was above this staircase yeah. here. With the oh, you're right. This right, was right. the family portrait. Can I look at the family? Has anything changed on that? No. Oh. Um, and there is nothing but brick behind the windmill picture. Do I still have my torch? Uh, you probably have to light a new one at this point. Okay, I'd like to light a new torch and then just hold it to the family portrait. Like? Like, right up against it? Right um, up against it. So as you hold the flame to this portrait, um, you see it kind of catch, and uh, the fire kind of, the flames kind of licking up the portrait. Um, as it kind of reaches the top, the fire dissipates, and the portrait looks untouched. Yeah, okay. I don't like it. Um, I'm certain there's nothing about this house that I like so far. Everything seems normal to me. I don't know what you guys are talking about. Yeah, I mean, there's been a few things here and there. My house is just like this house. Um, so, so this house, oh, sorry. Um, this room over here 
have we like? I don't know. I'm look. I'm basically thinking that there's probably another secret staircase that is similar. There is to this a one. door there. We used, that was the secret staircase from downstairs. Yeah. I know, but I'm saying I'm thinking there's a similar one that probably leads down. Wait, whatever happened to the armor that we, we killed? killed? It. Yeah, it's but like, on the first floor. It would have been just right. like crumpled on the floor. I was gonna investigate it for you know For-ball. knowledge purposes. But that's cool. <laughs> All right, what are you guys doing? There is another door over here by the stairs that we haven't checked yet. I'm gonna start like tearing apart the room. I'm in with like I want to like check the piano. I want to look underneath it. I want to look at the fireplace. Maybe knock the harp over. At this point. All right. Um, as you go through everything, you are not finding anything. You knock over the harp. It falls to the floor. Okay. I want to look at the fireplace too, but um, that's about it for me. Um, there is nothing over the fireplace in this room. <gasps> How about this fireplace? That's where the That's family the portrait was that we just lit on fire. J.K. I'm equally frustrated, and I tell Adira, I'm gonna start making a mess. If you want any of these books, you better come get them now. And I just start throwing Love everything them. around. I, like, knock over this bookshelf. I'm just, I'm this, we need to get to the bottom of this or get out. I would like to look at the books as she throws them on the ground. Okay, uh, they kind of open. Uh, some of they have a very wide variety of uh, topics. Mm-hmm. Um, you just push the whole bookshelf over. This is stupid, Rena. Really, uh, really. Let's see. Um. Raina, as you're throwing books around, can you give me a perception check? <laughs> She's okay. being very perceptive. Super perceptive. Perception. Yep. All right. How are um, there this many fireplaces? books from the shelf. Okay, we're stuck forever. <laughs> May I look in the fireplace? All the books are on the floor. Um, <laughs> in the fireplaces are just like ash and dust. Can I look up the chimney? Um, you kind of see, like, what you feel like would be like a speck of light coming from outside. <gasps> Clenwood, can you climb up the chimney, take I a would... rope, and let us climb up the chimney after you and get out of the house that way? Mind you, it goes all the way down to the first floor. Really? It's like... What do you Wait, think? Wait, hold on. What can we do? I'm picturing like a all the way up and all the way down. Tower fireplace. So, um, that wouldn't be very effective. You know, if he falls... I'm out of healing spells. That could be the end of Clenwood. We also are trapped okay. in here right now, and we're literally just going to starve to death. There right. is another door over here by the stairs that we haven't checked. Onwe, how is your own? I think we had looked in there. Did we? Was that while uh, I was gone? I, I'd like to check my orange. I don't think you checked on that one yet. Uh, your orange is still fine. All right. Um, so uh, this room that you guys just walked I'm into, um, there are undecorated beds that um, look to be straw stuffed mattresses. Um, uniforms are hanging on the hooks on the wall. It looks to be like a servant's quarter. And you see the dumbwaiter behind you. You get a dumbwaiter there, and then what seems like a closet to our immediate left? Have we gone up the secret stairs? In the closet are more uh, uniforms. Go in, check through the uniforms, see if there's anything. Um, As you look through, you don't find anything. Have we gone up the secret stairs? They, we, we got the normal that goes up again. to the third floor. We can use either one. So Maybe. we've we've torn everything out of the library. We've knocked everything over in the music room. Have we checked under the beds and everything did like anyone, that? Did anyone look at this desk? Nope. I Let's would like to the investigate desk. the desk. Alright. On the desk. Oh. oh. Alright. Uh, 
on the desk you find um, an oil lamp, a jar of ink, a quill pen, a tinderbox, a letter kit containing red wax candle, four blank sheets of parchment, a wooden seal bearing the uh, what looks to be a family signio, which is a windmill. And there are drawers on the desk. I would like to open the drawers. You find an iron key. I will Wait. take the key. So you said, um, you said that there's something on the desk with a windmill on it. There Any is portrait. a. Uh, yeah. a Where a are you on seal bearing the signia of a family signia? A family insignia that's the same one that's oh, on no. the long sword. Yes. Yep. Okay. Oh look, another windmill. I will take the key. Is there anything else in the drawers? Nope. Cool. I go... Uh, I'll s just start blowing on the wall, like, to make a breeze because of windmills, to see if something reacts to breath. Nothing happens. I just get very winded, and then I come over into this main room, and then I sit down, defeated. <laughs> Alright. What are you guys going to do? Has the air moved at all when we've, when we've been in here? Is it very stale? Like, what does it smell like? It smells pretty dusty. Mm. Shall we go up to the so third floor and go into the one room that we didn't go in before with the sword that tried to kill us? Have we seen it? I don't think there's anything in that room. Well, it was a very small room. It's like a closet. Oh, well. Have we I'll seen take your word for it. takes a key, though. I have not we seen anything that We haven't had key. any locked doors that we haven't been able to open, except for the front door. The only thing... The children said that there was a basement. That's the only thing that we haven't checked out yet. I'm gonna go we to haven't the had window. any way to get down yet. I'm gonna go to the window that we had that was open. Is it still open? It is now closed and looks to have no way to open it. Do... are the children still outside? Uh, you can still see the children, yes. Is I'm the dart still in her neck? Um, if I can still see them, I'm going to telepathically um, or use my awakened mind to talk to the girl. And I'm just going to say flat out, if you want us to go to the basement, maybe you should tell us how to get there. Um, she, again, does not answer. Spoiled BT floor. dubs, the stairs do go up one more floor. Yeah, let's go to the third floor and well, we've been trash it. Floor. We haven't trashed it yet, though. Oh, there's a fourth Pardon? floor? What? What? What was that? The stairs go to the fourth floor? Fourth floor. Okay, we go to the fourth floor. That would have been yes. good to know. We go to the fourth floor. Sorry! It occurs to me that I saw oh. four levels when we were outside. I'm sorry. Oh dear, uh, I missed that. <laughs> it's alright, I only just remembered. I kind of fucked that up. Huh. We got distracted I mean, at the top of the to see the fourth floor from outside. Pardon? You would be, you would be able to see the fourth floor from outside. Yes. But I'm gonna move you guys here because the stairs do not go up. Right. Oh well, what fourth floor? Wasn't there a fourth floor? You know, it's hilarious. We're probably Never mind. on the third floor, so we need to figure out how to get to the fourth floor from here. So do we need to take the secret stairs all the way to the top? That's what we I might have to do something about this sword closet. I have been suggesting we check take in the there. stairs. Oh, I'm kidding. Um, all of you what hanging out in the stairs? stair hallway, if you could give me a uh, perception check. Come on, onward, don't fail me now. Come on, Adira. I'm going to call upon my great deity. Really? illustrious chat room and uh maya girl that paranoia uh, is working for you um maya as you kind of search this wall here oh great chat room you have never let me down um you <laughs> find oh i gotta kind of fix this a little bit this is the best day of my life with the so chat room. in <laughs> all of our um searching around and you know praying to the great patron saint of chat room um or whatever it is that I have as a deity at this point in time. Um, and it's not a deity. Uh, <laughs> would we have taken a short rest, or could this be construed as a short rest? We've been actively doing things. Sorry. Yeah. My opinion. You could take a short rest whenever you'd like. Does anyone need to heal up? 
not, not that right, potion but, that to put me back at full. I think it might be a good thing for you, Almir. You're looking a little weary. <laughs> just, I, I, I used my spell slot, and I really like that spell slot. It's the only one I have. A <laughs> you don't have to give us all the details. It sounds a little personal, but yes. <laughs> so Maya, as you, way to think of as everyone kind of looks around this room, Maya, you notice this wall that seems to be um, a little different than the rest of it. And upon inspection, you find a false wall that leads to a staircase. You can just like, walk through, basically. Well done, dear. Not, not it's someone else. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Are we gonna rest? I, I found the thing. I put my arm around Maya again. Very good, dear. Are we going to <laughs> rest? Right. Yep. Does Do anyone you... benefit from it? I, 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 I only get a spell slot, so if that's the only thing that we're gonna get out of it, let's just keep going. No, well, I think we should do it. I you... think it's I think it's worth it. Right now, between all of us, we have yeah. one spell slot. Yeah. yeah. So I think two that's is scary. Uh, is a lot better. Yeah. So I mean, there's a lot of bedrooms, you guys. We could take a long rest. It is morning. What? Yeah. What I'm day worried is? about what would happen if I'm we spent the like night noon. here. <laughs> I'm not sleeping in this place. I can't sleep in this place. Uh, Maya, it's all right. We're going to get out. We've just barely begun looking. Cat. I'm all right. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't. I'm sorry. I thought of cats again. <laughs> Short rest. Yeah, let's do it. We can just take a short rest for about six more seconds. <laughs> six to twelve seconds. <laughs> you guys are taking a short rest. Yes. yes. All right. I'm getting my spell slot back. Okay. Um, can we not sleep in the hallway? Can you can we, sleep like, not sleeping. Can we? You can rest wherever you'd like. Can we rest somewhere with like a closed, locked door? Hmm. We want more locked doors. No, we, no, we, we Let's don't. go into the room where nothing has attacked us. <gasps> Yet? How about we go into the room where we already cleared it out? Let's go in the creepy nursery with the dead stuff. All right. Oh, that sounds wonderful. I hate this so much. I hate everything about this. <laughs> all right, it's all right. We're going to get out. All right. Do what you got to do. All right. I'm just adding my spell slot back in. I'm good. Okay. Great rest. Let's go upstairs. It's like shoop, like a cartoon when the hour goes by, like in a second. Nope. Uh, I would like to try to stealth up the step. No. Oh, I have disadvantage. During anyway. the short oh. rest, I chatted with Maya to try and make her okay. All right. So you guys head up the stairs. Nobody move. Man, I feel so rested, guys. I'm like super rested. Can you believe how rested I am? Wow. We all, uh... I'm just, I'm trying to be rest myself at the same time. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I was like, what? Right. Oops. Oh, are we stealthing? Should I roll? <laughs> Why not? You don't have to be stealthy. Yes. Oh. I am... Hmm. Hang on. I am creeping. Creeping and I'm creeping. Maya, and I'm creeping. Seriously, this paranoia looks good on you. At least I think it looks good. Where are you? <laughs> Thought my arm was around you. <laughs> How did she do that? All right. Did I say this girl was my favorite? Because this girl is my favorite. All right. What you guys doing? Uh, Clinwood, check for traps. Where? There's just in landing up here. Oh. On these doors. Which door first? <gasps> Let's try here. I I love our that door. All right. Uh, that door is locked. I would Suspect. like to, to, to conjigger it with my thieves' tools. Could or, you? no, let's, we try, have a key? let's try the key first. I do have a key! I yell. <laughs> Bring it over here. All right. So, Maya, it's all right. Come on. Come on, dear. Get out of the cramped hallway. I'm Wait, so where sorry. are you? Maya? <laughs> I was so quiet. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> all right. So as you guys unlock this room. The key works? 
The room contains a bricked up window flanked by two dusty wood framed beds sized for children. Closer <laughs> to the door is a toy chest with windmills painted on its sides and a dollhouse that's a perfect replica of the dreary edifice in which you stand. The furnishings are draped in cobwebs. Lying in the middle of the floor are two small skeletons wearing tattered but familiar clothing. The smaller of the two cradles a stuffed bear that you also recognize. Okay, how do I recognize the bear? Because it's what the kids outside have. I didn't know they had a bear. Okay, cool. The little you boy. said that the, the tall dollhouse is a perfect replica of this house. Yeah. I yeah. open it up and I look for a way to get to the basement. All right, uh, I will need a perception check. I'm awful at this. It's gonna be a two. Um, can I look at the the skeletal remains of the small girl <gasps> child and look for a dart wound near or around her shoulder? There's no dart wound. Oh, oh my god, we're gonna die. Uh, we're gonna throw it that hard. I didn't go to the. We're all gonna die here. We're gonna I die. You uh, look. Right, through, like, would you not? Um, I can't get it open. Not quite seeing anything that. Maya, it's is all about right. To you. I'd like to help Reyna. Please. Where is Reyna? I'm over here in the corner. The dollhouse. Oh, okay. So I'll need a perception um, check. I'm going to reach out to the amazing patron of chat, and hopefully they help me with my plus one on my perception check. Chat, why are you so distracting? I can't see nothing. We're trapping here uh, forever, guys. Yes. And where you just see a dollhouse. Well, those are pointless. I never wanted one. I can go ahead and take a stab at it. Uh, Please! Perception. Not a little one. Alright, Glenwood, <sighs> as you uh, search this dollhouse, you find a, um, a secret door um, in what would be the room kind of next to you in this direction. Uh, you see that it has a secret spiral staircase that leads down. Alright. I think we have to go this way. There'll be go up a, to go down. It's a wonderful room. All right. There'll so as you guys down. are rifling through the dollhouse, um, these look like what you saw earlier, but they're supposed to be small children. Um, <gasps> guys, ghosts! Oh my gosh! Oh. And I. The ghosts of the children appear before you. Oh. Except they're supposed to be small. Would I have made it out of the room before they showed up, or am I still in there with them? That very serenely done. Um, you guys are probably still in there. Okay, I'm in this corner, because that's where I was looking at the house. We both are. Yep. I'd like to put my hand on my shoulder and pull her backwards with me. Just a step or so, if she comes. Step, 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 step. Um, so as <laughs> these ghosts appear, um, uh, basically kind of floating towards you, we are going to call it a night. Oh. Yep. Since it is 10 o'clock. Yep. <sighs> all right. <laughs> uh, oh, well. my dear, it's all right. That was awesome. Yep. Um, I'm going to have such good dreams. We will figure out when to continue this yes um and uh i mean i know some people are very tired and are obviously in different time zones but if anyone wanted i'll probably stay here for a few minutes at least to chat with chat i can stay um actually i know clinwood can't stay very long and he's the one actually hosting the yeah. show so that so. Doesn't oh jk um, yeah. But um, just really quickly, if anyone in chat does have any questions, feel free to type them in. We'll try and answer them. Um, say, like, stick around for a couple more minutes here. Or um, you can uh, ask us questions on Twitter at UPickGaming. Mm -hmm. And yes. we can answer them, like, right now. And that's just... Um, so if you follow us on UPick Gaming, uh, we do a lot of other D&D streams. Um, we also do mapping tutorials, uh, Roll20 tutorials. We're um, probably going to be doing, you know, different types of things like GM um, talks. We have other videos coming up soon. Um,
but mostly the, there are a lot of campaigns that we're doing right now, and if you guys are interested in any of them and you want to know when we stream, the easiest way to stay in touch with us is to follow us on Twitter, uh, as she will said, at UPickGaming. Um, and uh, honestly, I'm like 110% floored with how many people came out, how yeah. active the chat has been tonight. It's been amazing. I'm like giddy and ecstatic about it. You guys are awesome. So thank you so much for coming out because it's been amazing. Um, lots of shout outs, uh, probably too many for here. Um, Encounter Roleplay for hosting us. Awesome, amazing. Thank you so much. Uh, Noof Games, as always, thank you so much for hosting us. Anyone that wants to watch some live play games, uh, he has amazing ones. Um, um, who was it? In Encounter or Open Legend? Uh, Encounter Roleplay. Oh, yeah, Encounter yeah. Roleplay. Thank you for hosting us as well. Mm -hmm. Well, anyone that hosts us, thank you. We really appreciate it. And, um, go ahead. Oh, um, just with the gaming stuff, uh, we are eventually, we're going to figure out a day, but we're going to have a girl gaming night that um, me, Lindsay, and Kate, Lynn, what? <laughs> I, I was going to call you Kaylee, and I'm so used to calling you champs. <laughs> this just feels wrong. I don't wrong. people's names. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> um, but the three of us will um, do some sort of gaming night and stream. Probably don't starve together. Yes. Yes. Um, uh, another thing, starve. if you guys do watch our Twitter account, um, we do giveaways fairly often. Right now, we're working on a, the recent giveaway that we just had where a follower um, won a one-shot with us. So um, those will be coming up more and more. Um, and if you guys want to play with us, get into some games, do one shots like Death House or um, you know GM created uh, homebrew ones. Please follow us. And uh, for everyone that came out from my Twitter, I know I saw a couple people. Um, if you guys don't follow, you pick gaming. I know. If if you follow, you pick gaming. Uh, I'd really appreciate it. But thank you for coming out. All right, you guys have a good night. We are heading off. Thanks, guys. Good night. And Bye. Thanks. if you come out to part two, I'll actually go in the dumbwaiter. Ha, ha, ha.